the disco halal and our sessions with the Moscow. Okay, fuck this shit. It's okay. Yeah, fuck this shit. We're live. <laughs> this doesn't work. Sometimes. Nice. Yeah, it was sound. This it was like breaking the, up a little the bit. The future. The future is is a piece of shit. Let me see what's up. The future. The future. I can hear myself. This everything works before you try, and then when you're on, boom, it's all bullshit. I'm sure it's my fault. I'm sure it's my fault. No, don't take it personally. It's just uh, computers, you know. What's yeah. up, everybody? Yeah. It's already full house here. Nice. You're a little frozen. You're a little stuttery. Oh, there you go. You're better. Wait. I got to flow with it. I don't know. Let's see that all the computers are off. You're off the Wi-Fi. <laughs> all is good. This is like, yeah. I always joke. It's like, now you got to like, get off the dial-up. You know? It's yeah. Who yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> answered the phone? Who picked um, up the phone? I got to use the internet. Get off the yeah. phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Hello, everybody. Thanks for. Yesterday, we had a crazy show with the Donna Twins. I mean, it was crazy for me. I enjoyed it. I don't have a voice. I was shouting. I was like, I was full on comedian vibes, full on. And, uh, but yeah, we got Faulty DL here that didn't write his name, so we can't see his name. But I uh, did. My name's yeah, right there. I don't know why it's not showing. Probably it's my, this is my fault. Okay. Sure. So I'm just going to do like this. Just do a caption like this, and that's it, you know? That so, works. That was good. Yeah. Easy as that. Uh, something went wrong. Please try later. No, I'm not going to try later. Nothing went wrong. Everything, Everything is okay. Yeah. Everything is okay. Video is working. People are here. And yeah, so uh, welcome to the Disco Halal A&R show. I'm uh, Moscow Man. This is Faulty DL here. Can call you Drew. Can I call you Drew during the. Yeah, for sure. And I, uh, I don't know if you know, but this is the show that we listen to demos with our producer and A and R hat. So from one from one end, we're like, I would love to release it, and from the other end, it's like this is what you can do to make it better. In my taste, in our opinion, of course. It makes sense because it's I always show it's from here, so it's my opinion. And even that, most probably, I don't believe it too much. I don't believe in it. It's just an opinion. But uh, yeah, we get demos, we listen to it, and we do a conversation. So how have you been? How have you been surviving this? I mean, you're in New York also. I don't think anybody... We were in New York in uh, in the summer. We were in Miami when the corona picked, and then we are like... Let's go to New York for the summer. And then it's like, um, we came with like, after like, a, it felt like a war zone after we came there. You know, it's like everything was opening up, especially with all the, with all the, I wouldn't say protest. I, I want to say support groups for a, for a good cause. I don't like the, the name protest because it's not, I mean, it, it should have been, you know, it's something that should have happened a long time ago. So I don't like how, how they treated it and um and yeah but how was it for you like this kind of explosion it's like a bomb exploded there at some point wait you, you were you were here last summer yeah all summer 2020 I was, yeah i was from july 13 till like october and then we came oh, wow. back to Berlin. yeah it was great i have to say it was yeah. great it was one of the best times i've i mean i've been in new york so many times I've, i'm going to new york at least four or five times a year and this was one of the best time I've been there because it was so quiet and, you know, and things started to open up and it was like a new, a new life, you know, kind of vibe. Yeah, no, that was like, uh, and the, the cases were low and the deaths were super low. Like it was like, we were walking around like, oh, we got this. We beat this. No, we're got like good. Half, half a percent. <laughs> like yeah. <amazing. laughs> yeah. No, it was good for a yeah. minute. Um, I've been, so to answer your question, I've been, I've been really good. Like I'm, I'm a little depressed. I miss my friends. I miss going out that type of thing. But yeah. like generally I'm, I'm a super introvert and I like to stay home and I like to make music. And right before the whole thing happened, I moved into a much bigger apartment with my partner. So like we kind of got very lucky in that if we're going to be home, we're in like a bigger space than we used to be in this one bedroom apartment together for yeah. like nine years. 
So now I've got a studio in my backyard and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's here good. It's good. I mean, I'm kind of like, I'm almost, I'm anxious about things opening again because I kind of <laughs> like socially, I like being home. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to go out to things again. People are going to like ask me to do things. And then mm. And the truth is, is my friends know that they. J I just want them to think of me. I want them to be like, hey, Drew, you want to come to this thing? And then I can say no. And then they yeah. can be like, okay, cool. I'm like, <laughs> you know? also. I like, I like, I just want people to invite me to places. Also yeah. with gigs and stuff like this. I like to say no to gigs. I just yeah. want to be, just want, you want to be included. thought of. Yeah, I want exactly. to be included in exactly. the thought. And, uh, but this is why I like this Twitch thing because I'm always included. It's mine. <laughs> that's probably why we yeah yeah yeah. It's so like, that's probably why we're in know. music. I think we want to do something that like people will be impressed by and want us to be a part of, you know. I'm sure we've wanted this our entire lives since we were little kids. We wanted attention and just to be loved and to be a part of something, you know? Yeah, but it's weird because I was very loved. I mean, I, yeah. I was even overloved. I should hate it. I should be like but at the same time I ran ran. I ran away from all my family mostly i mean it was a business point of view business music business point of view to move to berlin and be part of yeah. a scene and whatever because growing up like and also in tel aviv the scene in tel aviv wasn't so good <clears throat> you know it was like in the up and up not like it is today or when you were there when you, you say you told me you were there 2013 which was which was the start of the peak of it but uh yeah so i guess i ran away from attention but I don't know. I don't know, how to, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this feeling. It's not like, <clears throat> sorry, it's not like uh, some kind of a high or something like that. It's just like something warm. It's just something nice, you know, to be to be a part of something. I feel I feel I need more the attention of my peers, <clears throat> you know, and this kind of being. You know what? I'm good also. You know, I'm. Uh, I mean something to other people that understand it. It's not just the crowd. The crowd is great, and the crowd is what pay the bills. You know, and stuff like that. But uh, but this kind of being in this kind of community, and this is what I'm yeah. trying to do with the show also. You know, to recreate some kind of this community because a lot of this Twitch is people DJing. It's very distant. You know, I feel like we're in your online. It's even more distant than. You know, like real social distancing kind of vibe because it's like everybody's like, whatever, looking at DJ. I'm not disrespecting it, but looking at other people DJ and stuff like this, it's weird, even in a club. So, you know, on the screen, it's even it's even weirder. I mean, I, I want that attention too, but I think one thing I've, I've realized is that I want better attention. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take fewer people, but a higher quality of connection. Yeah. Because like I think I used to, uh, you know, when I started producing and DJing 10, 15 years ago, I felt kind of almost like a social butterfly. I loved dipping into this scene and this scene and knowing this person and that person. And it was great, but it becomes a lot to sort of manage. And now I yeah. talk to like three producers, but like a lot. And we know what's going on in each other's lives privately as well. Yeah. And that feels like a real connection. And I can also get an honest, I can also get, they can, they can tell me my tunes are shit. You know, they can be more honest about things. Um, yeah. That's what we're doing here, by the way. And nobody is, nice. uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, and nobody is, um, I think it's the best kind of critique to, to have a real critique saying yeah. that like, all right, this is this could be better, you know. It's not only about oh, that's very nice. You know, look at you, you made music. You know, it's easy yeah. to make music. Let's be honest. I yeah, mean, that doesn't do anyone any favors. Just no. saying that. No, and the feedbacks. I feel like the feedback system is shit. You know, like in the world, the feedback system has become shit, and everybody has been treated like babies. And this is why the world looked like it is because everybody's very soft. And uh, and we can take it to our world in the music world. Nobody told other people enough with this shit. Yeah, so they keep releasing this the same music. You know, nobody yeah. told them. Listen, okay, but faulty. There's not many like you. You know, like like not to to be like ooh, but you know, no, like no, tell me, compliment me. No, Come like on. tell me how good. Pioneering I sound. Yeah, you know, a pioneering <laughs> sound in the world that we are i have no idea why your sound is so uk for a for an american guy you know but uh you know it was super pioneering to listen to it and it was something mm -hmm. new that we didn't listen before and i i'm trying to all the time with the show to to 
make sure that people will, first of all, will listen to the right music before they create the music. And it doesn't have to be electronic music, you know, and try to bring something of themselves. Sometimes they don't have anything inside themselves. And that's okay also. You know, some people just can copy stuff, for example. And okay. And they can do it very well also. But uh, I don't know. Here, this is the 22nd show, I'm guessing. So far, no death threats. No... Uh, no unfriending, no unfollowing that I know. Well, we, you and I did a quick follow unfollow, and I want to rectify that. I'm going to follow you right after I get off this. Oh, okay, I'm sorry about that. I don't really, fo I don't really follow too many people on, on, Dude, the, on Instagram. I, I, and that's the thing too is that it's I because I'm lazy. Good. It's not because I'm, I'm just like I'm going to the. F I, I literally am the person that search somebody that I want to yeah. see what's up in his page, you know. And then yeah. I don't press on the follow. I'm just lazy to press on it. I don't know why. It's yeah, I, I I hate it though. Like I, I I think it's it makes me a worse person, a worse artist, and uh, it's bad for my brain. I think yeah. I get nothing positive out of any social media. What was the moment that really ruined it for you? Um, there are always this uh, moment in the career. That you know what? You're it, like fuck this shit. Yeah, you know what it was is um. It's that scenario, you know, the boiling frog scenario. Yeah. You I put mean, a frog in a, in a boiling water and it jumps out. But if you put a frog into cold water and you turn the heat on, you slowly raise the heat. It won't know what's happening and it'll just boil to death. And I think that's yeah. been my experience with social media is that it's been a Boy. gradual. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been boiling for a while and I like don't know and I don't want to get out fully because I need it for my career and blah, blah, blah. But like it's also. A, yeah. It's a warm yeah. blanket, but it's warm because it's pee. But I, yeah, it's warm because it's your own piss. Yeah, and also, but if I did more things like this on social media where it's like fun and an actual interaction with someone that I respect or whatever, you know, like this would be like, this is the best way I think to interact with it as opposed to just putting up a an old photo of myself because I haven't done a photo shoot in two years anyway. You know what I mean? I feel the same. I feel that, you know, it's, it's dividing the world. This, you know, even though it's social media and everybody's trashing and blah, 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 the dilemma, the, okay, whatever. If you're real, even if you're real on social media, you can still be real, you know? You can post stuff that you believe in. You can do stuff. I mean, this is who I am. I'm not faking it. I'm, we spoke before. I speak the same. I'm just a little yeah. more active because we have a show and it's nice and it's cool and I feel the vibe and I feel the adrenaline and I'm mm -hmm. enjoying it, even though it's weird because I only have a chat here and this camera here and screen sure. and i'm looking at the screen but uh fuck i want more i want more people i want more interaction it could be here it could be if we're what's the difference between this if we go to you go to jimmy fallon you know and sit and speak with him you know it's, it's the same thing you know it's just our world it's yeah. good to have the interactions inside our world you know and more of, more than that there are people on the other side in the chat that they could be part of our world if somebody will just help them, you know, and just like not all of them, even not most of them, a few, yeah, you know, and yeah. we can keep it as a few. The real one. You want to listen to some music? I do. Let's hear it. I never hear the music before, so. Uh, By the way, yeah, I haven't listened to dance music in since March of oh, last man. year. Man, it's so good. Dance music. And I need. So good. I got my first radio show at the Lot Radio in like six months tomorrow. In person, so I like. I need to so get everybody, back to everybody. Everybody that you like, just tell me, and we'll send you the track. What do you think about? Okay, that? great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What about your label? We'll talk about it after. Yeah. Okay. People say they forgot how to dance. So everybody, welcome to the show. I don't see the chat, but uh, you see. You the don't chat? see it. You should see it see to the computer on the it. right. No. Yeah, but no one's in it. I don't see anything in there. Is it on chat? Because yeah. like, that's weird. Because people chat, are like. It's people all right. You just tell me the, the good ones. Bubbling. Bubbling here. Oh, people are bubbling? It's probably yeah. better I don't see it. They're like, oh, this guy. That's what you're <laughs> worried about? <laughs> no, it's yeah, 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 yeah. They're very supportive. Also, I'm, I don't support negative negative vibes here in the in the show. It's like right. I don't. That's good. I'm not like this teddy, teddy bear or something. I just... Maybe I can get on the chat on my... Uh... Do you have a Twitch? I don't have a Twitch. Just register. Just log in. I would. I'm gonna go full video game Twitch though. Like, I'll, I'll play some games. What are you playing? What's your game? Uh, right now, I'm like very, very Warzone. slowly making my way through uh, Valhalla Assassin's Creed because it's like a 90-hour game. Come to Warzone. 
Oh, now I can see. Sorry, I came here for the chat. I can see the chat now on my cool. phone. That's why I just opened that. Great. Uh, Warzone. Yeah, I used to play that stuff, but I don't think Call of Duty's had a good game since Modern Warfare Two in about two thousand four. So. The check. I think I'm stuck. Am I stuck? You are stuck. Okay. No, you're back. Uh, check the new one. The the cold the Cold War. It's super good. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm trying. You you got a PS Five yet? No. Yeah. Uh, we're dude. going to PC. It's over. We're oh, going you're going to PC. PC. Yeah, yeah, you're going. That's that's better. I, know. I want a PS Five so fast. bad. I want something fast. I almost gave five hundred dollars and got scammed online for a PS Five oh the other God. day. And then the last minute, I was like, "Wait, this can't be right." <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's do it. Let's listen to the first one. Where Great. Uh, not this one. Not. This one. I'm going to put you on mute. You want to mute yourself? Whatever you want, or you just don't uh, don't say too much unless you want to say something. Can you hear me? Oh. Yeah, there you what are. Happened? What happened to my camera? What uh, happened? You're back. Wait, something happened. Um Yeah, you oh, left and you came it. back. You go for it. I'm fixing oh. I'm fixing my camera. You go for it. Okay, yeah, there's a few things I really liked about this track. One is it immediately made me miss being in a club because I haven't heard club music as, as I was saying before in months. This is and a then, good start, by the way. I'm surprised. It is a good start. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the kick, like, I, you know, when I'm listening to a, a club track and I can't tell what's the bass line and what's the kick drum, I kind of like that because it, I feel like it's not complicated and it's just very effective and like, you like the driving. Happiness? 
I no, I'm not saying it's muddy. I'm just saying it's just. I mean, there's no baseline. It's just one note pounding. Yeah. So it's like, is that the kick or is that a bass oh, yeah, note? Yeah. Probably both. Um, and I did like around maybe 20 or 30 seconds in there was like a little. I don't know if it's low pass or high pass filter. It cut it out the bass a bit. I love when like producers put DJ things into their tracks, like stuff that someone it saves me time. I don't need to do yeah. anything. I can be with all the girls and uh, be on my phone. <laughs> Let me work. It let me work exactly. Yeah, I I, I like that. Um, my only critique for the track was maybe just uh, like there was an acid line sort of thing that came in on the uh, after the on the second drop, I think. Yeah. And it just like I think maybe it could be a slightly more interesting sound. Maybe just like just stress it out a bit more, a little more distortion, a little bit more wildness. You know, it just sounded a bit in the box. Yeah. But uh, and, something that will cut through it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like that—that'll work on a in a club, though. That's a, that was a, that was a deep track. Yeah, but uh, but for me, it was very uh, solid, which is nice. But it's still solid. I just yeah. want boom. I had I felt like if there was some kind of because then the percussion came. I was like, oh, there's gonna be some nice percussion, but it stayed flat. Also, everything stayed yeah. flat. Yeah, and it was missing the next level. But the base of it is really good. Uh, keep explaining here that it's like. It's a demo. It's all right. It's here. You can fix it. It's not out. We're not judging music that is out. It's Absolutely. Not... Yeah. yeah. And all, and also, like, I mean, if that's a that's that's a good demo, like that's a yeah. solid demo, you know. Um, As the A&R, you can work with it. Yeah, you definitely could. I mean, I think a label that does very functional techno would be interested in something like that. You know, if it's sort of an outsider, a bit of a weirder label, they might not know how to market something that's so that's sort of like straightforward like that. Like to me, that's a very functional dance track. Yeah. Um, there's nothing sort of weird, bigger. weird. Could be bigger. Yeah. Sure. Or or it's fine as it is what it is. But I, I just think like I don't know. I think every music has its home somewhere if they can find it. I don't know where it is necessarily, but you know, it's alright if it's like you know, it's a part of a bigger story. But yeah. then you're like, uh, I want to hear other stuff that the that the guy that did, you know, so I can, I can be. Is it a fluke? Is it this is all he can do, or is it just like he has he has this kind of ear? Because there's like a like a game vision, you know. It's like if if you're a manager, you're like you have, or a coach, whatever you want to call it in the U.S. And like oh, it's a game vision, how the game will play, like you know how it will be in the club, because this will have a good damage for it, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For, I mean, you just you just need like like if it was 2011, you would just want like Scuba to play that track and yeah. like a and a mix or something. You know what I mean? Like that that feels like 2010 to 2013 techno in a way. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, nice in groovy. a good in a good way. In a good yeah. way. Very very good groove. Okay, yeah. you ready now? We can listen to more stuff. I don't know what's going Let's on. Do it. Here. This looks uh, this looks a little more uh, damaging. This is like more fun than I've had in a long time, so this is great. <laughs> so I'm happy. You, I have to say that this is the one thing that I'm most happy about it all, that the people that come to the show, they reignite their own happiness to listen to music. And it's also for me, this is why I started, because I was like, I have to do something fun with my homework. You know, I still need to go run my label, but I can't listen to music anymore. Let's see if yeah. other people, if I can listen to my music with other people. You know, For that's sure. All. all right, let's see this.
Yeah. This sounds like oh fuck. This sounds yeah. like like something that uh, like the Peshmod were in the studio and like the and like the NR told them, listen, this is too much. It's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like, yeah. Take it down a bit, and you know, it's just like remove a little bit of the stuff, and it's really nice. I think the musical notes. Like the notes themselves, they don't work. I would change them to have more of a cathartic, how do you call it? Kind of like a solution in this kind of melody solution. You know what I mean? It's like a little off, which I don't connect to it personally. But uh, this could be really nice, you know? Yeah, I, the, I would go the opposite direction. I actually think the synths, I would even detune them more, slowly detune yeah. them even more till it starts making less and less sense and it becomes this wide dissonant sound, like very Aphex 20 or something. Like yeah. if you're starting to tease with an idea like that, you get it to a level six, like take it to, le take it to 11, like just yeah. go wild with that. But I love the reverb on the, that's so, it's so nice. Like if I was in a club and all of a sudden a snare came in that wasn't completely dry and it had that, yeah. that gated reverb, I'd be like, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, 80s snares are back. I wrote on the chat that the 80s <laughs> old and they want their snare, both of them, because one was super gated and one was gated and reverb. So it, right. was like, it was the same, but it was good. You know, I want to hear more stuff. Who sent this? New Art, what is this? New Art J, RTJ, Mario, Test. Yeah, test. I, What's I would going put on like here? a, I would Somebody. put like a, like a saturator on the on the master bus channel. I would like distort the hell out of that track. That's what I would do. Make it sound like it was coming out of a tape machine, maybe. Yeah, I don't understand why always why people always want to fit to a current to the current sound. You know, you can just do whatever you want. It's music. That's I mean, I would electronic music. Yeah, I mean, if I if I fit to the current sound in the last fifteen years, I would have made a lot more money. That's for sure um <laughs> and this is the this is the this is our issue <laughs> but uh yeah yeah but also like fuck it i mean you know you get into music because you love it right Not yeah i can say personally the more i fit i fitted in or fit in the less i felt good about myself you know mm. that's, that's for sure the more i was mm, i'm cool now no yeah not good yeah not good. i mean i also like remember being young when you start like you just like you think your shit doesn't stink you're just like so excited to like be a part of this and so you yeah. know after being in this for a little while you see new generations rolling every couple of years it's a new generation i want about like the third wave of younger producers that are coming in and they got that same energy like they don't give a shit they're just like what i do is amazing and they're just like making jungle again or techno again or things that i did and people before me did and before them but uh, you got to kind of have that attitude when you start. Yeah. I never had that. I was never. Oh, no? Sure. No, I was never. I was always sure that my music is shit. Oh, yeah. I, I still do, by the way. And not in a bad way. I just don't think I'm good enough. Yeah. Well, we could work on okay. that. I mean, no, you know. it's okay. I don't need to uh -huh. be good enough. I don't need to be satisfied. <laughs> I, I mean, if that's, if that's a fire, if that's driving you to do more, then that's great. I mean, if I'm. If I'm I think if I'm satisfied, I'm done. <laughs> you know, it's over. It's like I'm done. I'm okay. Uh, I've been there. Bubba. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's weird. You know, I'm like, I was thinking about it now. Even before the whole Corona shit, it's like, I I had my day. Like I had my I had my moment in the sun. You know, like I think that all the time. I know. Like, I, I, I do that all the time. I've been around the world in the same year, even a few times. Like literally, yeah. I flew around the world and. I remember one year I had five back-to-back -back tours all over the world. Like literally, I flew from Berlin to from through the U.S. to Asia and back to Berlin. Like literally in like sixty days or fifty-five days. I I had fun. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And you know what though? And you, and that's like a young person's game. And like like I burnt out doing that. I went back and forth the Atlantic like every weekend for like a couple of months and I totally had a meltdown. I just was like yeah. I just like I just broke sleep. down. Couldn't sleep. do it. Yeah, sleep, sleep. Total sleep. And I'm and I'm no straight way. edge. When I'm yeah. on tour, no drinking, no nothing. Yeah. You know? Just so I can do it. Yeah. I mean, uh, but sleep, sleep is the main issue. They're yeah, asking me if I'm a perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what it means. Even my camera is stuck. I'm not. A, I'm not a perfectionist because I'm not as. I could never be as good as I want to be. <laughs> so yeah. it, it makes no sense to be a perfectionist. It's, if I was a perfectionist, I wouldn't do anything. 
but hold on, when you're making music, you don't think like, oh, this is amazing. This is great. No. Like, this is so good. You don't think that at all? No. Because that's the fun like, part. If I didn't have that, I wouldn't do it. That's the I'm, high I'm that I'm chasing. A, I'm more in a, in a kind of, I can, get, I can get past with this. You know, it's like, I can get oh, through man. with this. This kind of vibe. And it's, I don't think that my music is bad or something. I'm just like, I have a lot of, you know, I... Not it's every. The guilt. It's the guilt. I understand. Yeah, I know where it no, comes I'm from. Saying, I, not, I always say not every saxophone player is going to be Coltrane. Yeah. You know, not every. Not every. Even myself, the people that surrounded me, I'm like, I'm not going to be Red Exes, even though if yeah. I'm trying to do this kind of sounds also, and I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be you. I'm not going to be anybody, and I could be me, and this is okay. Listen, I quit music once a week. Yeah. I straight you know, my up girlfriend, quit. My girlfriend is here on the chat. She's writing. But uh, I don't want to say. No, I mean, so I tell my girlfriend once a week, I go, I'm fucking done. I quit. I quit music. Yeah. I'm always, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done in the, usually also not once a week, like in the end of the day. And then like, you're hungry. She's like, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, I'm hungry. You're right. Let's eat. <laughs> it's like, what's also, TV? And I'm yeah, okay. And like, and you know, I'm 37. Like, it's not cute to quit my job once a week anymore. You know what you're I mean? It's like, get, get it together. Get your act You're younger than me. What oh, do you whatever. say about that? You're younger than me. Well, you look good, man. You you don't look you. you don't look old. Yoga, right? yoga, and running oh, every day. Oh, nice. Running? I gotta get into running. I wish I was a runner. I wish I was a runner. I said the same for 36 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I start just literally. My friend was in the gym. I was staying at the Free and Hotel in New York. My friend was downstairs in the gym. I was like, I'm gonna join you, and nice. that's it. I started to run on the treadmill, and now I'm like minus 10 or whatever you want to call it like 25 yeah. 25 and it's like i'm running i got the full gear i'm like taking photos i'm like like world runners you know this page i don't know there's a nice page you should follow world's runner and they're like sending send us content and stuff like that it's just the beginning hurts so much my lower back and hips and stuff like you got i got to get through that pain and then i can do it have you read the do you like do you like books sometimes no, do you sometimes. like uh, murakami yeah, yeah, all oh, right. He's a great runner. Yes. Yeah, you should read. What do I? What? Uh, no. Fuck. What do? What? Ah, what am I talking about when I'm talking about running? Okay. This was. This is the right moment to read it also because he's in our age. He changed his life also. You yeah. know, he, he had like a jazz cafe, and he was like he wrote he wrote a book and then he wrote like a two short book two short books his first one Spinball and uh, 1973, mm -hmm. and then he was like. Uh, he had like a very very successful jazz bar you know it's like a jazz record bar and uh he was like i gotta close the bar and concentrate on doing this books things you know he didn't believe yeah. in it it's like but i gotta i gotta concentrate on this new thing and look at him now you, Do you know? think he doesn't think he's good at writing or running he's like when he's running he's like the he was talking about the pain it's like the pain is what what uh, you know what takes him through the day yeah. You know, this kind of pain, this body, he's like, this is how he feels life, you know, and he can, he can deal with that. He can be, because he has this constant pain in legs and everything, so he can do all the rest of the stuff, you know what I mean? He doesn't need to think, it's not in his head all the time. So this is the pain for him. I get that. If you substitute pain with depression, I've totally been in moments like that where that's what gets me through the day. <laughs> it's also yeah. pain, you know? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Let's listen to another song before people will be depressed for months. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah, I'll send you the book. Okay, great. Yeah, text. please. I'll just well, send you oh, an email. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, great. for sure. It's just a book. It's a small book. You know, you can read right. it in a few hours. I love his short stories. So. Amazing. I can't stop reading okay. his book. Okay, let's listen to this. Dark side. Let's do it. Go to the beginning. Wait, let me hear the drop. It's yeah, always yeah, just hear the, drum. the beginning is good. <laughs> yeah, because this is promising. This sounds like old Source Direct or Jungle or something. Yeah. People talk about shoes. Uh, I run with Kayano 27. Ask it. Only the <laughs> Japanese. If it would end it here, it would be the best trick I've heard today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skip ahead, skip around. Skip around. I'm worried, I'm worried. Okay, and the breakdown, the breakdown between that? This one? Yeah. 
Okay, pause. Pause. The 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 music is awesome. The yeah. the beat the beat ruined it for me because the, the the intro was so dope. It was so dark side. Yeah. And I haven't. We only we don't even listen to the other drops yet. No. But like. There's too many tracks on the track even before I heard it. I want like, an ambient version of this, and yeah. I would I would play this out. I would I would no, use this I, as a DJ tool. I don't know why. You, uh, this first part, you know. Wait, let me do it again. This first part, for example. Yeah. This is a track by itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Without this, that's another track. Yeah. That's great. This should be the second part of the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's a better line right there. And this is it the next right part. In. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing track. That's a good tip. Yeah. All this part, I don't know if people can see when with my with my cursor. But it's so part, funny. It's... We listened to like two seconds of that middle section. We're like, nah, none of that. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy. After you're you're listening to so much, you know, it's like you're like I know. It's so easy. It's good. It's uh, it's training. It's it's we're training our own ears. But this yeah, is good. It, there's but, a there's uh, a vibe in there. Something in this track could be really dope. And, and uh, the next part after break, I don't understand the breaks. What are they for? Uh I don't know its names. What does this mean? P what is this backward arts? Um, I don't know. I can't read this shit. <laughs> I'm like I'm like this. I'm like, what does it mean? I I read pizza or pizzeria. That's I read I... Pre Prezia. Prezia. Pre okay, whatever. But um, yeah, cut uh, all no. cut, cut all the bullshit from the track. <laughs> no, really. Uh, but listen, I, I mean, I have to do the same thing. Like my tracks, like I spend more time taking things out of them yeah. than putting them in. Like in the first hour, I'm just like layer, 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 and then for six hours, I'm like. Get out of there. Get, yeah, out of there. get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. That's, that's very similar to what I do. I'm like, because this is where the moment that I'm, you know, when we talk about like, wow, this is the best. And then I'm like listening to it. Oh, fuck. It sounds like shit. I got to remove most of the most of the tracks, you know, from the from the track. And then I would leave the original, like leave the real vibe of it, you know, and not just fill it up. That's what yeah. I. Next one. Okay. something to happen though me too but we can talk about it i like the artwork it's really nice i love the artwork i love yeah. the artwork yeah Could, who, who did the painting can you zoom in on that Givilo. some famous person yeah. cubist cubist this is way better than i imagined Very uh, old school Mexican sound. Go to the artist page. but it's probably it's somebody that uh, it's, it's a painting from Giulio de Anna. It doesn't sound like somebody that just started to produce. Yeah. This year. Uh, you go for it. 
I'm gonna check. So, oh, the line goes nice. The line goes bum 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 ba dum da dum. Dum, dum. Bum, 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 dum, dum, dum. It goes up a major step. Dum, 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 dum. I want it to go a minor step. I want it to go bump, bump, dum, 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 dum. No, it is. Maybe. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, maybe I can't hear it right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Who is the guy that uh, sent this? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see in my list. What's his name? Siblings fear. Man, I like somebody, the bass sound. Somebody sent here the most amazing name for. Uh, for a track, I'm waiting for the moment that you will see it. I'm just waiting for it, but we'll get there in a second. Okay. <laughs> hey, you should yeah, do, what you... do it Twitch. Just do it Twitch while we're listening to music. Just do login. Do your own channel. Start with just it. Some... <laughs> just use your own name. You will just Wait, use it. What do you know about Mexican club music? I'm really interested about that. A lot. I mean, now it's all this dark disco bullshit, but the original mm -hmm. stuff like Daniel Maloso, and okay. uh, you know this is the sound that he had it was very kind of chuggy going forward and i really enjoyed that that time before the pre pre pachanga boys or boyedo sound but it was more like edgy at the same time that then Avery was doing a very clean sound so then daniel maloso did a very kind of like rough him and uh, what's his name mateo saguayo and all this. Oh little, yeah, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Mateus is not Mexican, but all the little crew that they had from okay. uh, Mateus's uh, label. That I forgot the name. I'm, the only thing that this corner did is just made me forget a lot of things, like names, like cognitively. I'm. I'm not Wait, what a, made you forget names? Of everything, like label names, even people, oh, yeah, yeah. people names. Come <laughs> me. Thank you. Come me. That's a come yeah. sound. This track. That's okay, cool. Yeah. I mean that that's what I'm super interested in is like little micro niche genres that happen in like cities, like things that bubble up from certain yeah. places. Now Mexico is so Mexico is crazy now. Mexico is I mean it's they have their own sound, they're big on kick and snare. They like kick, snare, kick, snare, and a lot of like very kind of um machine machinery kind of basses, like a very kind of mid high basses. That's a very Mexican sound. Yeah, and very dark and dramatic, and uh, that's that's what they like. Well, it's an interesting city. I mean, it's one of the biggest cities I've ever seen. It's so huge, and it goes on forever, yeah. and it's sprawling, and there's so much going on. Yeah. I had a an yeah. incredible gig there. Um, what was it? You did Mexico, like 2014 or something? That's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it was awesome. It's like landing in Mexico City is something that you've never experienced in your life. But then you yeah. go into like Roma or Condesa and all the neighbors neighbors around and like it's cool. It's like Europe. It feels like Madrid. Sure. It's Interesting. Like food is yeah. fucking incredible. People are so nice. I've never experienced so much, so many nice people. That I will give more than nice. a, no more than a lot of places I've been. Also, I like that that track wasn't really trying to impress anyone. I mean, it no. was very functional and just like kind of raw. And I think that's cool. Sounds yeah. like maybe some machines were used or some yeah. or some good samples. I don't know, but I mean, it was, it was cool. Thank you, WW Waves eighty eight. It's good to see you here. <laughs> also. It's good to see everybody. Yeah, Rigo hey. Paula, There's so many cool people that are doing. They're doing like come to Twitch. Just come to Twitch. Just log in. Grab well, now when you can grab your username before people take your username. Be smart. I don't think anyone wants my username. Mm, you'll be surprised. They will sell it to you after. <laughs> Five dollars. Hipless, what did you bring for us today, this guy? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to hear it.
Um, I will go and say before everything, anything that from all the stuff that this person sent throughout this show, this is by far his best thing. Doesn't mean anything about anything. I'm just saying about this. Nice. You guys mind if I do like a, like this with my hair? Is it too? Is it too much? If I do I'll like, do it. Can do it. I like it. It's cute. Yeah. I mean, it's like I, the remember when the man bun was a thing, but this is like a top knot you're doing. It, when everybody did the man bun, I hated it, and now I have one also. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah. I'm so even the Matrix, I watched like seven years after it came out. I nice. just don't like hype. I just don't. I don't know why. Everything that people tell me to do, I don't want to do. That's pretty much it. I'm, so but, you know what I was? Th I was thinking about this track. Yeah. It uh, it raises a, an, an important question that I think about a lot for club music is whether I want things in stereo or in mono in a club system. Because like I love the obviously the low end is in mono and then and it was the hi hats that were panning on this track and I think that yeah. sounds really cool but if it's not a good club system I think it's going to sound kind of weak if it's a really good club sound system that's going to be dope but uh, I would like to hear a mono version of it too on a club just to see what the difference is. But I think there was something in this track I would give it that you know yeah. it was, there was something here and. Uh... <sighs> I needed a break for this. For example, I was missing a break. Usually I don't like too much of a breaks, but this could have, this needed a break. This was a little intense. Was this Mascaolai mix? No. Oh, he, no, okay. He, I'm just looking Mako, at the chat. Mako yeah, this guy is crazy. He was, he did some stuff yesterday. He brought, he's from Mexico. Cool. This was Hipless. Are, are, are you doing this every day? No, but because no. we couldn't do on Friday because the internet here, yeah, with failing. So right. this week I'm doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Hey, if at least anybody, you got a plan, man. At least you know what you're doing with anybody it. Anybody ask? Yeah, anybody ask if this is the only show this week? No, and there's gonna be three shows a week till I'm gonna get my Netflix deal. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Till, till I'm done, yeah. pretty much. But um, I want to do something interesting today. Are you up for it? I wanna, I wanna try. I went to pee also. People, I yeah, pee. I we both did. We both did. Yeah, I pee, but the music here is very loud. I know because my neighbors are complaining, so I could hear the track. So it's not like I pee and I can't hear the track. And Drew was with his earbuds. Air, yeah, I was. AirPods, whatever you call it. And, and it felt like I was in a club peeing in a club. You know. I like, you know, when you play in the club, you always feel like you're missing out on something. Yeah, that, this I remember. It's like, or this, or the mix, or the tune is gonna be ending soon, and you're fucked. Mm -hmm. It's kind of quiet. There's a quiet moment. I wanna, I wanna bring something to the. I wanna bring somebody from the crowd to the show to ask you a question. What do you think about that? Are I'm you into it. You will be up for it. To ask me a question? Yeah. Or yeah, me no. Oh I'm yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh sure. So yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, and yes, WWW waves. <laughs> 88 you can produce you can send weird weird whatever you want do whatever yeah. you want so just like bring somebody on you can ask a question and then we can just like turn him off and that's it whatever it's not going to be part of the show or something but, okay okay i like it now. i'll work on it i'll work on it i want to hear from more music there's a, it's a music show also it's not like uh, come on i'm into like, it do you like uh, eric weinstein you know the guy I don't know who that is. I'll send you the mathematician. He does like on Instagram. He's one of the oh, smartest yeah. people in the US. He has like a podcast. He was on Joe Rogan a lot of times. He's like he's too too smart. That's for sure. What do you th what do you think of Joe Rogan? Um, I don't know. I like the content. Uh huh. That's for sure. I like the guests. I like the fact that he's very active and is he knows stuff to ask. And I also like that he's stupid and he doesn't take himself too seriously, you know. And this is him, pretty much. I have uh, I have mixed feelings about him. Yeah, but, uh, I can't. But I look. Yeah, I don't. I like when more. he's talking to like a, a yeah. UFO guy, like UFOs and stuff like that. That's yeah. like the best it gets to me or other comedians. But yeah, I also think he's kind of like an entry point to some like pretty dangerous thinking as well. Yeah, but. Uh, but whatever. He's always I think just recently he's taking responsibility. You know, he's just realizing that, you know, how much he has power. He, yeah, he well, that's good. It took him a while, but he's on it. And uh, and I think that, <clears throat> you know, I it changed. 
I, I, had to, I have to say they change a lot of people's life. In, not in a way in a way that I'm way more interested in stuff now than I was mm. before. You know, I had, because I had this kind of downtime, it was a perfect fit on, on the flights, on everything, you know, to just listen. Or when I go to Iran, I listen. I, at home, I don't listen too much. I just look at clips and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. the guests are amazing, especially I like all the medical stuff and uh, I don't like the MMA and I like uh, Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz is my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, go, go. Diaz. go, go. If we can get Joey Diaz on this show. Hell yeah. Then, you should get comedians on this. No, that would then, be great. Yeah. We're here. And then I'm done. <laughs> but, you know, comedians are going to shit on dance music. They don't care about club. Amazing. They, they will just shit on everything. perspective to people. It's good. Yeah. Good perspective. <laughs> For All sure. right, next one. Yeah. Uh, thanks, uh, Eplus, for the previous track. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, room music. What do you got for us today? Not Vodafone. Oh, but I'll just say that that the panning hi hats on that last track was like effective and really cool. Like I, I, I've never done anything like that. That was pretty cool. All right. I appreciate it. I don't know what to do with this. All right. So let's most let let give Moscow to listen to it. Moscow and Paul Tidia, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel like there's a wash sound effect coming. Mm -hmm. A white noise thing? Yeah, white noise. I call it wash. It reminds me of uh, yeah, it reminds me of washing machines. This guy is Jordanian if you're interested in that. a sample pack oh bring it up this is gonna be a long build the next drop is in like 30 seconds I want to say that I want to say that um, what's up with the sample pack? Lack of authenticity? People ask. Yeah, that's mostly. And also, I find it very difficult. Different, like, sorry, difficult at this time that you don't give credit, you know, on the track when there is like a full vocal thing. If it was like a snippets or like small samples, whatever, you know. But if like there is a song she's singing here and we don't have her name, you don't have to give her money <laughs> or give her, you know, rights in the in the in the office. But it's nice to have a person because it's good for the story also, especially for the from a PR point of view and from a label point of view. That's why people ask as an A&R. I'm asking. I'm answering. And um, no, that was a good that's a, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. And especially. But I mean, this is just a demo. Yeah. Yeah. You of know, course. The. the, the yeah, I mean, the person who wants to release this might eventually put the name of the singer, too, so. So it said cinematic vocalist, original and paid for. Amazing. Just put her name on it. That's it. 
Just put a name. Yeah. Uh, it's it's one year old, and you can hear it. And but you can update it for today. It's always I say to people lose the mannerism. This kind of washes, drops, little effects here and there. It's not interesting. You know, it's just mm. you don't need to tell me what's gonna happen. I already know what's gonna happen. You know, the fact that you're putting some attention on it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen without the attention. You know. That's why. Hey, can I, I eat? Can I eat a little bit while I do this? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yes. Time, no? There it is. Yeah. You can still hear me. I'm walking through the headphones. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. I mean, I. You can. I like, sorry, I will speak with the chat for example. For example, for a second. I just yeah. think people want to. Uh, oh, sorry. You go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah. The, you're using the mic of the AirPods also, or is yeah, good mic. You sure? Because when you were yeah. there, I heard you. Uh, but does it sound okay? Yeah, but let's try for example for a second. The um, yeah, I don't know. To setting, go to setting, and then audio input, and just choose your AirPods. I'm also tech support. So, <clears throat> People have. I'm not right. No, I'm not. AirPods. Yeah. Yeah, it's blue. I don't know if it's better. No. No, I back. didn't change it. It was already. Okay. I cool. didn't change anything. Cool. Um, I'm not Russian. I'm from Israel. And uh, about the somebody saw uh, Vanessa wrote about the publishing issues. Just write a. You just do a deal. <laughs> you know that's simple as that. You know there's no. Uh, yes, Al Saba. And um, and that's it pretty much. Let's move on to the next thing. That's what I wanted to say. Ah, so just lose the bullshit and just do a little bit of editing. It's a really nice track. Good vibe, deserty. I can see like the deserts. It's nice. Maybe a little stuff that I hate, but a little implied flute somewhere there, <laughs> like a little more ridey kind of thing. Little frog. It's very. Stuff. Um, it's pretty cinematic. Yeah. Cinematic sound, which I like. Okay, we got it. Three kills. What's three kills? Three kills? What is it? Kills, yeah. Let's see what it is. You're on mute. So if you want to speak, let's finish, let's finish what's going on. Say something. I like it. Yeah, I do. Um, I mean, it's a breath of fresh air after all the four four sort of techno we've been hearing. And yeah. I, I come my some of the first music I made was like garage and two step sounding stuff, you know. Yeah. So I love the swung hi hats um, and the sort of Daft Punk sounding French house type of you know touch, yeah. uh, French touch. Yeah, um, and uh, it's playful. But this is this is exciting to me. This is more of a party. This is I see people. I see yeah. people really having a having a party and dancing with each other. The other techno to me is like so yeah. dark and like you're in your own zone, but you're surrounded by people. And I hate I hate that sort of vibe. I rather have people like smiling and looking at each other. And you know, it's yeah. sexy. It's more sexy. This like, this could this. You hear this for two three hours, you would kill yourself <laughs> to listen to this kind of music. <laughs> Like, eh. I don't know. I think I could listen to this kind of music longer than I could the other stuff, to be perfectly I honest. I think the other stuff, not to disrespect any kind of music for my taste, but you can, as a DJ also, I build a story with them, you know? It's like a journey. Mm -hmm. 
more than an explosion after an explosion after an explosion, you know, of feelings. You know what I mean? Yeah. I yeah, yeah, for sure. Down, I can bring you up, left, right. It's like uh, with the right, in the right hands, it's like, you know? But yeah, uh, I mean, but, it, you got to be good to be able to do that successfully. Like, I, I am I'm bringing someone on. Yeah, I know you are. Oh, see, now you think, now you got confidence. Now you yeah, think you're DJ, good. I'm DJ. I'm, I will tell that I'm one of the better DJs that oh. I know. Okay, so it's producing not the so music much. Music production, yeah, the music production, meh. but DJ. I'm the opposite. I'm, I'm the opposite. Super confident. I'm first. I'm a. I'm a DJ. That's for me. I okay. always a DJ. I'm a musician. I'm a bad electronic. I'm a, I'm a bad dance producer. You know, it's different. I can play guitars. I can play keys. I play a trumpet. This I'm good. But to put everything in the track. Hmm. But okay, so let's say you're DJing, right? And it's like 2 a.m. It's just yeah. becoming like peak time. Yeah. Are you going to drop something dark? Or are you going to drop something like that that's more hands up in the air and fun? This is, for me, this is, if you went through my, uh, went through my story, this is the dessert. I will give you this before I will go. You know, this will be mm -hmm. like, remember when we, you know, when the check comes. <laughs> you know, the, <laughs> Like this is the mm, check. Get some candy with it, and that's it. Yo, isn't it so fun I want to see if you... the deepness? Have you been to uh, Massa? Not Massa. Sorry. What's the name of that amazing Mexican restaurant in in New York City? Wait, I forgot. You ask your question. I'm checking. In um, oh, I think I know which one you're gonna say. Um, I can't remember the name of it. It has the uh, there's like a corn dessert with corn in it. That's incredible. Uh, what's what's the name of this big chef that he has like a, a restaurant in uh, also in? Uh, but you meant you mentioned dropping that tune like dessert when the check comes. Like, isn't it so fun when you're the last DJ and you're trying to get one full track in before the security tells you to shut everything mm -hmm. off? And you got like you just got like one track. You're like, one no, let me get there. Tune. It's wow. you know the club shuts at four and at like yeah. four oh one that secure that bouncer is like. This you, know? <laughs> this you can only Cosme. That's what I was talking about. Cosme, I love yeah. Cosme. I've yeah. been there. Yeah, twice. It's so, just so say, good. I remember the I ate the green mole, and I started uh -huh. and I started to cry. Like literally, I started to cry. It was like that's so fun. I I could feel all the story that he wanted to tell me. And this with this track, we can listen a bit yeah. more. But I don't feel a story. I it's fun. It's playful. Fair enough. Fair, Fair enough. enough. But uh, I like it. For me, this one was this is my favorite one so far. All right, that's great. Uh, I don't not like it. I want to hear it. Is this person in the chat? This person, everybody is only live. Everybody's here. They're waiting. So They're listening. This person is here. Three Kelvin yeah. is here. Yeah, here. I would say go listen to this record by SC62 that came out on. Uh, uh, unknown to the unknown, or one of DJ House's sub labels like two years ago. A record by SC62. There was a track called Better Days. And I just think that person did such a good version of that. You should check some of that stuff. Better Days? Better Days, I think, was one of the tracks. Yeah. What's the name of SE or SC? Yeah, SE, like Southeast 62, okay. kind of like a, like a UK postcode. Good type Days of... or Better Days? Good I don't days. remember. Was I'll it Good say, Days? I'll say good Days. Yeah. Makes more sense. Yeah. I, I won't play it because uh, I don't want to get muted. But yeah, I'll just paste it here. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 exactly. I mean, I'm mostly telling this person three kelps yeah, to, yeah. to go check it But out. let's see what's going to happen here. You change your mind. You, you're... No, no, no. Well, no. I have, I have a critique now. Now, now I have yeah, a critique, please. and I say it's actually rain it in a little bit. To, yeah, uh, yeah. There's like a lot of little edits, like because I think if there's some edits in the breakdown, it'll be more effective if you didn't do any edits for like a minute. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Don't have every second be super exciting and like a cool like thing. You know, it's like it's like someone's just like walking around like this the whole time. The best dessert <laughs> is not sweet. 
<laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, it's rich. You can be rich. You don't have to be sweet. Yeah. I like that. And this is very sweet. But uh, let's move on. I want to hear more stuff. Now I'm excited. Now I'm going on. And then we're going to get somebody online. So uh, anybody right. that wants to come and ask, but the real question, not like what shirt you're wearing, because everybody knows it's a Jordan, but still something real. Oh, yeah. And I will find the next link. Nice. Uh, somebody said for a friend. What, am, what is going on here? What's going on in my show? Have I lost control over my show? Oh, no. If, have I? Okay. Is this Absolute already going to be, is, it's already gonna be out? It's like a demo? What? One hour ago. Let's see what it is. The clap is a little too loud. You're going to go into mix. You're going to go into mixing now. Which yeah, that clap is too loud because I was liking it. Yeah, it's it too loud. Okay. So uh, whoever sent this, first thing, clap is too loud in the mix. The clav, the little. Clav, okay. So the clav. Clav. Yeah. It's not loud. It needs to be on mono. It's just all over the place. That's what I Ah, think. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying. I literally can't hear anything else but the clap. Yeah. Like, I'm feeling anxious. I mean, that'll that'll hurt ears in a club. For sure. No, I feel anxious. Like I have anxiety. <laughs> it's very wrong. Okay, go to the go to the breakdown. Yeah, the, the drop. Yeah. Is the vocal original or the sample? Too good. Sound is so out there that it doesn't even. I felt like it's outside my room, and it's, it was very, very annoying. The sound. Yeah. I don't like this track. I'm sorry. So. You know what I would say to the person though? I, I, I'm curious what they're listening to, where they're getting their influences from, because I think it would be nice to step away from that. There's yes. some talent here. There's some cool ideas. There's sequencing. There's production. There's all this stuff going on. But uh, <laughs> this is great. Just do something else. Yeah, no, it just it's a little too smooth. It's a little too like yeah. it's like it's like I, this is what you might hear in like a neon sushi restaurant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, it's Nobody not so much in a club for restaurant music, yeah. Restaurant music or uh, like I call them beach bar restaurants. Yeah. Which hey, might be a good way to I mean fuck it. If you can like corner that no, market, no, you can make it. money of it. Can you can't you can't you try? No, I haven't, but you know, this no, there's nothing. Yeah, like, fair enough. Nothing on nothing on anything. Okay, the snacks is I don't know what it is, but it's the best name that I heard in a long time. Okay. Sanitary toilet system, pee at the wall. Nice. Ah, you can't see it. Wait. No, you can see it. Okay. So planetary toilet system. This better be good. This has to be good. Nah, it's two years ago and uh, yeah, we'll find it. Okay. What am I? What am I doing? I lost my phone. Okay. No. I take it back. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's not even. It's not even private on SoundCloud. No. Right. That's okay. No. Woo. No.
get this one of the sanitary Looks like very yeah. Japanese Wash and Wash and poop Thank you. Whoever sent this, thank you. This has been, uh, this is like super fun. I like farts and this kind of shit. I like shit jokes and this. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody Me always. Me too. Talks. I love that. Why do I find it funny? I like talking about farts. It's, it's funny. Well, know. also because like it's such a faux pas to fart on a dance floor. Like you're such an asshole if you like do that in the middle of the dance floor. I always shout at people in the, in the booth that they fart and I'm like, <laughs> I might not be able to hear you, but I can smell it. But yeah, but, but for real though, not, like this is still working. I would change two things about that track, and I, and I think it would be even better. It's, well, yeah, there's a lot of there's like all this big reverbs on stuff. Like get rid of all that. Make the soon tune sound like it's inside of a bathroom, like a bit smaller, not so big. Yeah. And also the keyboard, the roads or whatever sampler. Keep, I like it when it's in mono, when and when it's doing that one line on the on the left channel or right, whatever. I didn't like that as much. Keep that mono in the center, and uh, yeah, more more fart sounds. I got somebody to come online. All right, nice. Is it the person who made this track? Because I want to meet them. No, I, he's he's hiding. I don't know. He's, he's not even talking in the chat. Yo, I come on. I got a hair on my mic. What the fuck? What the fuck? You got a good hairline, by the way, man. Thank you. Like I'm yeah. hiding mine with this beanie right now. I don't I got know. It. It's the only thing I have going for me. <laughs> it's good, dude. My hair. The peak is nice. Yeah, it could be. I, it could be worse. But uh, the hair, I'm keeping. Dude, it, it could be a lot worse. Trust it's me. Organic. I don't even want to try. It's organic. That's why I tell everybody it's organic. I like your hair. I was like, it's organic. <laughs> <laughs> I grew it. I grew it myself. <laughs> What's up, Reese? Can you hear us? You ready to come online? All right, you're the first guest. Boom. Yo. Yo. Boom. How's it going? Oh, is this Reese who's who I've been emailing all week? Yeah, man. <laughs> he should be the yeah. first guest. He's the reason he's the reason you're here. I mean, part nice. of the reason, sorry. He brought you I mean, here. when I get hit up by when I get hit up by someone's producer, it feels very professional. So <laughs> yeah. We're we're hustling it. We're hustling it big time. I mean, he, I'm so happy that he asked me to ask you. If we can ask you, you know, this kind of stuff, because I'm having, this is one of my favorite shows. I'm having the best time, but uh, nice, I'm, nice. I'm going to sign off. Go for it, Reese. Okay, cool. Yeah, Reese, pick up the How's ball. <laughs> Pretty good. How about you? Yeah, yeah not He's bad. Nervous. I saw a video of you. No, no, I'm good. I saw, I saw a video of you making right. sushi about years ago on Accelerator. Do you still do yeah. that? Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I, I know my friend, I, I've like, I've tried a few times. The, the problem is, is like, I don't want to just go pick up any raw fish somewhere and just eat it. Especially even in, even in New York, like I could go to the fish market early in the morning and get something, but it's expensive and you need a special license, I think, to go in. But, um, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, uh, 
that was like a that was funny. That was like a thing that the press wanted to talk about. That I used to make sushi, so we just ran with that. Like I did yeah, it for one pitched, year. You know, who pitched the idea? Because the video is really weird. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it was in the middle of my like Planet Mew years, or right in the beginning, actually. Yeah. I think. And they had this guy named Marcus doing the press, so I think still does the press. Marcus Scott mm -hmm. and. Uh, he and Accelerator, I think, put that together. Accelerator hat was was really cool still at the time. They were still in print and they were doing really good stuff. Um, yeah. And I don't. And now I don't. I don't. Sadly, I don't pay as much attention, but I don't really read a lot of magazines at all. Uh, yeah. No, I, I haven't seen Accelerator in quite a long time, to be honest. I haven't seen it in ages. But I remember you, I, when I first started making music myself. I used to um, watch that video and sort of try and copy you a bit <laughs> oh yeah way. but like, yeah 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 i used to like um i don't know like b back in around well this was 2009 the video but i started making music in about 2012 and um i used to watch videos of you martin or all, all, all of sort of like that sort of crowd at the time and sort of try to emulate what what was going on yeah and um yeah no what i found really interesting was um when you were talking about when you were first sending your tracks to Mike Paradinas, and um, you said you were making like loads of 180 sort of jungle, and um, it sort of you slowed it down and it sort of worked. Because like Love, Love is a Liability is like one of my favorite one of my favorite albums to be honest. Yeah. It's Thanks, amazing. man. I mean, yeah, I yeah, think the so period good. like 2009 to 2012, like you said, was like such an incredible period. It was just it was just up 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 and like started like, to make house music. Yeah. Yeah, it was well, you know what? Well, we were the stepping stone between dubstep and house music cuz we yeah. brought it back to 130 BPM thought, for the future garage, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was like a sweet spot though, really, cuz I when I first got into it and like I, I just missed dubstep, I think. I just mm. like oh, I came to the end of it and then I was I was sort of like 19 at the time, maybe or like 17 or 18. Yeah. And uh, I start I start going to clubs and then um was that like the sweet spot where like music was sort of like not quite I don't know. You, you you had all these sort of like experimental stuff going on in the UK. You had like what 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 people were called like post dubstep at the time, and then I, I found about in like two thousand thirteen, everything just went it went to house music and it got a bit boring, in a way. Yeah. You, yeah, you I remember the names to blame if you want to blame them. Blame yeah, the names. who are they? Yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing this game. But <laughs> nah. because it's not because of I, that. It's because that the house scene made way more money. Yeah, I know. I remember when um, who was it? You know, well, it's really obvious. Like I remember, this was well before the house thing, but there was that Julio Bashmore track, yeah, which was sort of like he he was, he, yeah, yeah. It was two of them. It was yeah, yeah Battle, Battle Middle, Middle Year, yeah, yeah, and Orsive as well. And I remember hearing them, yeah. and they were great. But they sort of fit in with the sort of at the time of all like the sort of dubstepy stuff that was going on. And I, I remember Blau one as well. He, he was he was like making sort of like. Back then. And Hessel Audio were doing a lot of like all this breaky sort of stuff. And then I remember, and then I remember like 2013, 14, it was just all fall to the floor and it kind of it lost its magic a little bit. What's the yeah, question? All, all... I didn't hear the question, Reese. What's the question? The question? Yeah. You wanna... Oh, no, no. Ah, okay. So just the chat. Yeah. Let's listen to yeah, your just... track. You sent in a track. Let's listen to your track. What do you want to say? Okay. And that's it. And then I'm going to cut you off. We're yeah. going to go back to the show. <laughs> my, my... Then you're fired, Reese. No, you're not yeah. fired. I'm just gonna cut you off. No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. So you're definitely. the man, Reese. Don't take any shit from this guy, okay? <laughs> I'll try not to. Well, only good shit. Yeah. <laughs> only the sweet, the sweet it. parts. Yeah, this, yeah. Quantum dating. Yeah. Is that is that on your Tinder profile? No, no. I, I, I'm taken now. But if if I wasn't, I'd be quantum dating. Yeah. Yeah. This is the pre-breakdown. The mental breakdown. The pre-drop. The mental. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good, man. This is the mental breakdown. Oh, nice. This is like nice, some hardcore shit, right? A little bit, yeah. Are there breaks in the track? One. I think so, yeah. Small break. <laughs> this is the uh, mental breakdown. Yeah, that is so breakdown. good. 
I, I want this to be so good. I want this to be so good. All right, Reese. You want to hear my thoughts? <laughs> you yeah, sure. Go for it. it. You asked for it. Okay. Um, I think the tune needs a needs a mix down. I think there's a little bit too much low end going. I think the bass is a little bit too much, and I think I want to hear the snare a little bit louder. Basically, you do you know when people do breaks with like 808 drums and stuff like that, I hmm. love it. It's like a breaky, like old school thing. Um, <clears throat> I think this is really good. I think you should. 
as an experiment, do a few different arrangements and like versions of it, just like quick, let me just, just wild different, just try different things with it and then a different mix down. Yeah, and then I would send this to like Matt uh, to loan. I'd send it to loan and like, I feel like it's like right up his his alley for like his label, uh, what is the name of loan's label? You know, he's got that little label. Yeah, Magic Wire, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Magic Wire. Yeah, this would be dope on Magic Wire. Maybe with like a, a remix from Lone or a B side from you or something like that. Like, that's that's great, man. I'm, that's that was good stuff. No, amazing. Thank you. Can we go back to the show? Yeah, go on. Peace. <laughs> Love you. Nice Reece. to meet you, Reese. Thanks, man. Love you. See you later. All How'd right. you meet that guy? From the show. Oh Was yeah. Here? Yeah. I love him. Nice. Good kid. Yeah, he's sweet. Uh, good kid. I don't know how he makes music because, for example, uh, it feels like machines made this track. It doesn't feel like a human well, made it. <laughs> yeah, but also, but but some of the some of the sounds are a little bit too in the box. I kind of want to hear a little more distressed on the synths yeah. and like uh, a little distortion, maybe. He'll get there. I'm but, sure he'll get there. Can you still hear us? Yeah, that, we can see you. That was good. That was good. That was, that was promising. Are you having fun? We're here already for like almost. Uh, we're how long has this show been going on? Like an, an hour and a half. No, it's not. I love it. I'm having. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't. No. Stop. All right. Perfect. Yeah. I don't want to go back to Modern Warfare. I think my girlfriend's gonna break up with me. If you go back to it, or unless you go. Yeah, back to probably. It. I want her to play with me also, in the game. I mean, and then it will be nice. It's like activity. I I can't watch TV anymore. I can't watch Netflix. All this. I can't. I know. Over. I've seen it all. No, I enough. I, all. I don't. I can't even sleep anymore. I feel like I've been sleeping for a year. Yeah. Enough. John Levy is back. What did you bring today? This guy, man. I hope it's the track from yesterday. Most cultures tend to have their favorite areas of the body to work on. It's the same track? Okay, we'll listen a bit. Because Drew will like it. couple of years we're obviously trying to like create make clubs a safer space right clubs need to be a safe space for everyone of course without that goes without without saying but i think mute the music and the vibe should be absolutely terrifying you know yeah. what i mean and like like i want to feel kind of scared in the club by the music not by the people or by my safety but by the, yeah. the music and what i'm hearing and like you drop a song like that that might scare people and i like that i, I remember when clubs weren't safe you know what yeah the, i remember yeah. this it wasn't yeah, a yeah. place to be. No, it was crazy. No. It wasn't like, ooh, with the phone and this. No. Something yeah. sh some shit was going down, like real shit. All the time. All the it's time. Scary. People got hurt. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you can do that musically. You know? Yeah. I like that track. Uh what, what sent it? I forget. You see, John, John Levy. I already, I don't know why I like it. I don't know what I would do with it if I would have it. I just like yeah. it. Yeah. As is. Siblings fear. Oh boy. Here's your aliens, they're coming. True. Come with us. 
I'm amazed that have you I'm amazed that people think that if aliens will come they will speak to us in our language <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you will understand them you ba- barely understand somebody that comes from Japan you know <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they're gonna speak friend. English yeah. that's good I mean I know this chord progression so well I've used this progression myself is it you is it your track there's one person here no it's vice do people just literally open their soundcloud account you're amazing I love you guys or or girls whatever girls I like when you can play the track yeah yeah yeah, yeah. caught up Is there a beat? Yeah, nice. Okay. Dope. This part's awesome. Yeah. Get rid of that whole fucking intro. Yeah. Now you're in it. See, you're in it. Like, that beat was dope. The beat's dope. And it's weird. The tits are too loud. Yeah. Not quite there, but if it would without the intro, it would be nice, sir. I yeah, would... cut the intro, maybe a better mix down, maybe a vocal too, yeah. like a dark phrase yeah. coming in. Yeah. That's kind of cool. It's a sweet track. Uh oh, why Kago Company. The guy that sent got the, toilet, the toilets before. Can you send again this track? Or maybe you just send it without the right link. It happens. It's not a private link. Whatever. Wait, that's the toilet track got taken? Yeah, I want to see if there's another track. Another toilet track. Part two. Or number two. Okay, nice profile photo. Nice, yeah. honest photo. Sweet, let's see it. I like the rack focus. This is the mental breakdown for the track. Get ready. cover you, you know the original no who is the original wait nobody say anything in the chat <laughs> uh, melanie c mel c overload what, the, who's mel c is that the spice girl spice girls yeah I like it. The music is so weird though. Yeah. Sugar babes, yeah, sugar babes. I love it. You love it? Yeah. Imagine what would happen if at 2 a.m. if I put this track. People would be like, fuck, I'm tripping. It might work. It might I'm work, tripping. yeah. People would trip. Should the music be better though? I think the mix should be better, it should be better. Yeah. Bigger bass line. Yeah, you love this. This is like, this is, you know what it is? This is, 
there's something Tel Aviv about this track. There's something like Israel also, yeah. I like. Yeah, there's something that's hitting you. I knew that. I knew it. I knew that was it. Because I love that people have balls and people in Tel Aviv have balls. Yeah. And he's yeah. not afraid to do a Sugar Babes cover and to do it kind of funky and weird and singing. I love it. Yeah. He's not. Yeah. No, that was cool. He's not following any path. But let's see what's going to happen for a second. It's just a mix. The mix is not good. Honest. With a mix, I would sign it. I would really with a good mix, yeah. It's a big, it's a big tune, man. That's yeah. awesome. I think uh, I'd like to hear a real piano or a better piano sound in there. Yeah, the sound is not good. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. the not good. But yeah. track, but a lot of people can make sound and they don't know how to make music. Yeah, yeah. This works. All right. This all right, yo, fix it up, and Moscow Man's gonna sign it. He just said it. You didn't enjoy it at all? No, no, I did. I definitely did. I think it's it's sound. super playful and fun. Yeah, the sound was shit. For okay. sure. He said it himself. Read it. He says, my mixing mixing skills is not even mine. Like, mixing, the, mixing skills are bad. That's what he wrote. I don't have it. The chat isn't really working for me. But uh, one day you'll listen to me. Yeah. No, well, no. I, I, no I, like, I like that. And I do like that the person's putting themselves... I'm, Look, my next record, by the way, my next album that it should hopefully come out at the end of this year is rock music, and I'm singing, and it's all con it's like country music. Can you play us one track? Yeah, maybe I can send you a, a, a link to something. Yes, but um, uh, don't re record the vocal. Uh, and the vocal was the best part of the track. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Keep so it exactly. I'm, here, I'm, I'm here for that. I'm here for singing. Siri just like popped up. I did you ever do a? Here. Did you ever do a cover? Did you ever did any covers in your life? No, and my manager asked me to, so I'm thinking about it. But if I cover anything, it's gonna be like Mazzy Star or like uh, something like that. You're gonna do like Richard X? No, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna do a conference call with this pair. <laughs> nice. <laughs> every every show I bring a different fruit, and I. Uh, yeah. this this is a conference pair. I don't know what it means. Do you get good produce in Berlin? No, it's there's no Whole Foods here. This is what's yeah. the opposite of Whole Foods, like a bodega or something. A yeah. bodega is better than here. Yeah. No. Like, I, is there any vegetation? Does anyone eat anything green in Berlin? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Weed. Weed. Uh, you smoke weed? No. Just uh, yeah. just CBD. Well, okay, cool. That works out for you. It's fake. I don't know. Yeah, people probably, but I'm enjoying it. Um, so, Mazzy Star, you would cover which song you would never say it into you? Sound yeah, like but that. which song would you never cover? Um, I would never. I did a cover of an AFX Twin song. I did my version of a track of an AFX track once, and I regret doing that. And I don't think I would do a cover of any like electronic music. But I would cover. There's no. There's nothing sacred. I would cover any. Unless it was like a, a spiritual song that is like supposed to be sung from a voice that I don't have, you know what I mean? But like, there's nothing I think that you can't cover. I think you missed my question. Which song is so good uh, that you will never touch it for you? You know, a song that you will, this is the last song I want to hear before I die. A song, a specific song. It doesn't have to be not electronic or whatever. A song that you like. That's so sad to think about. Um, David Boy Wild is the wind. Yeah, oh, that's good. For I them. mean, yeah, but no, again, like I think it's some instrumental stuff that's touched me more than anything vocally. Like you know, like like uh, is that guy? Is it David Hollis? Who's the guy from Talk Talk? Hollis? You know, like that song of his, "A Life." 
something like that. Like I couldn't touch that. I wouldn't want to cover that. Is it back there? If you can see it, then you're in the back. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, something like that. I wouldn't be able to ever recreate, so I wouldn't touch that. You know. Mm hmm. But um. I don't know no, I mean, I come from hip hop too, and like sampling. So, like, I, I think like you should do whatever the hell you want in music. I, I don't like rules. I don't like you can't do this. You can't cover that. So, no. But I understand your question. I know you're coming from an angle. Of, it's just like I don't want to touch this. I yeah, want to do a yeah. cover, a Chad Baker cover album, where I sing and I play the trumpet. That's my do next. You play trumpet. Oh, there's your trumpet right there. Yeah, that's my next goal. I played flute was my first instrument. I'm stuck. Now I'm back. Yeah. I'm back. Eh, some issues today. Well, almost There's always issues. I don't care. Um, and um, yeah, I used to play the flute, like side pan. How do you call it? Yeah, like this, like side, just the flute. How do? You, it's like the same thing. It's the same embouchure with the, with the mouth. Like it's similar. I mean, like when you started, did your teacher have you spit rice? Did you ever do anything like that? And then put a piece of rice and you go. I learned from YouTube. It's like oh, nice. Okay, <laughs> like, it's a similar embouchure. No. Uh, white square you know white square is another israeli italian producer he's really good no he has a certain sound he says children he's probably talking about robert myers <laughs> 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 but that's a good thing you know to do and this one you would like kevin durand what kevin Dorwell. Dorwell. yeah not durand <laughs> kd, KD. it's the original kd yeah i like the artwork Ambient music. <laughs> I love the chat. I played trumpet in high school after two years. The teacher said my lips were too big for the trumpet. Aww. <laughs> I'm sure there's some stuff that's not too big. Now.
So, uh, for those of you who are just joining us, we're here on the Discord Ale and our show. I'm here with uh, Faldi DL, straight from, uh, I'm guessing, Brooklyn. He looks like a Brooklyn guy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was uh, Kevin Dohart from uh, Glasgow with his new, new track, Dusk Arrival. I don't want to um, wake up anybody. Yeah, seriously. But um, just want to offer you to subscribe, subscribe to the channel, and um, share the share the love. You can donate, and we'll do something nice with the music. Yeah, money. Maybe release some more music. Anyway, yo, there that track was was like was nice but there was this like middle section that got really dark for like 20 seconds i didn't think it needed that but uh but it, but I, I i i dig i dig the vibe he done he's, he's doing good stuff i'll give him also i think with ambient music is like it's a really good opportunity to have a lot of dynamics in the music like not everything needs to be loud and compressed like there could be some parts that are really quiet i don't know i love ambient music you do a lot yeah. To make a lot? I do I do some yeah, but like with my piano and stuff like that, prepared mm -hmm. piano pieces. Yeah. You ready for some house? Let's <laughs> bring it up. No. All right, black label. Old school. Me to judge here too much yeah yeah no i mean it's, good, uh, but, um... it wasn't so super exciting but i mean i it definitely was like well produced yeah i mean it's all no. i don't like listening to old stuff also mm -hmm. people i will give you a tip as an a and r because i like giving tips in this yeah. show if you are sending something always re-upload it you know don't send something that's two years old in your in your I don't give a fuck that you made it two mm. years two years ago. Um that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, just it makes it sound fresher, you know. I mean, what do you think about just getting like I, I sign most of my records from people that I like meet in person. And I've had most luck when I've like signing my own records to people that I've also met in person. Because like right. I'm not good in communication, like emails, like you know, like all that stuff. I think that you're lucky. Most of people are not lucky. No, it's, listen, I've sent hundreds of demos nobody on, on the computer. Yeah. And 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 the hit yeah, the sign rate is like two percent. Yeah. I just saying I have more luck when it's in person. For me also, that's how you start. You need to meet the first one and then you're out there. Yeah. And but this is why I'm doing this show. This is mm. as in person that you will ever meet this person. If there's gonna be a track here that you're gonna like for your label, you're gonna sign it. People need yeah, to understand sure. there's no magic. It's not easy to reach us, quote unquote, because we're maybe some people not answer. I, I listen to everything, to be honest, that I get sent. But, you know, if it's good, I'm going to sign it. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Simple as that. If you want to know what how to sign your music, 
make good music. Yeah, that, that's that's got to come first, 100%. Yeah. That's got to be that's got to come first. Let's see if this is good music. Mr. Original yeah. Mix, the original mixers. That's the Yeah, new, yeah. That's the new to Illuminati, the original mixers. I'm going to yeah. I'm, I'm pushing it. The black and white profile photo. Original mix. May I send some stuff? I'm kind and sexy. Please do. So sexy. original mixer i told you yeah i'm gonna make it a thing it's an original mixer okay okay I, <laughs> it's gonna work it's a o is a om oh yeah it's the om it's the og it's an om it's like yeah it's gonna work it's gonna work yeah oh, okay it's gonna i'm gonna push it it's gonna work i'm sure it's not bad well, like, if i if i'll be honest it's yeah. just not it's just dated for me you know especially i don't know if you heard music from my label i'm one of the i feel like one of, i'm one of the reasons there is this oriental middle eastern kind of sounds uh -huh. more in, in the front not yeah. that we released this kind of music in the last few years but still it just feels dated you know it yeah. is it does sound authentic and it is nice but as a track itself it just doesn't doesn't do it to me for me too much and it doesn't doesn't happen it just doesn't happen it's there's well you need an x factor in music yeah. right it's got to have something that's just so exciting you didn't expect it and so if it's very if it's doesn't matter how well produced it is if it's formulaic and sounds like something i've already heard it's just not going to have the same effect yeah i wish people would drop it don't give me what i want give me what you want you know yeah. i will i will choose if i want it or not to get it but if you try to if you try to focus on my taste you will never get it you you don't know look how many records i got you know i'm listening to music every kind of music you know it's a it's a feeling you know more than anything Mo oh, right. right. Demo i'm gonna send i'm gonna send you a track on soundcloud yeah, please. this is for you no for me? not even notice yeah it says demos for moscow and 40 dl not only me
the real mental breakdown. Yeah. I think this person's a good producer. And I also like the name, Not Even Noticed, is a great name. I love that name, Not Even Noticed. I'm happy you're here. I'm, I'm not a good judge of breakbeat music in general. I just... This is my shit. I just think that there should be a reason for if you're an house producer to make a breakbeat music, there should be a reason for that. Not because yeah. there's no clubs. That's all, uh, all I'm saying. This is genuine. Yeah, I think this person should listen to old Tom and Jerry records. Old Four Hero. Yeah. And like old hardcore records and just like get better ideas and stuff. Yeah. But like I think I think there's a vibe here. With paint on my face. This I like. This makes me feel awesome. Le Jeune Fluke, it's better than your house stuff lately. Keep on this direction. You don't need to be uh, in the top of the charts. Make music. Yeah! That was that was good stuff. Yeah, I, I think like I was telling you like in like another year, like if this producer 
is like has been doing this for like a couple of years and this is where they're at they did another year of like six hour days i'm talking like throwing everything into music like leaving it all there and just like fuck a social life in fact do it now because we're in the pandemic yeah i think this person is going to be in a great place in a year producing what's your uh, what's your uh, mo what do you mean when you're working like how how much do you spend on the track and stuff like that uh well now it's longer because i've been doing these tracks where i mean it's a longer conversation about where i've been in the last two years and where i'm going right now but i'm doing a lot more coll collaborations with people and producing for others so i work on other people's timetables so sometimes things happen quickly sometimes things take six months um but like talking with like rappers and singers and instrumentalists and then mixing engineers and all that stuff and traveling are you, are you cooking something big yeah i've cooked a few a few things that i think are the biggest things i've ever done um creative so, yeah creatively yeah yeah for sure i did two things i i produced the next um ep and album for mickey blanco mm. which is like got all these awesome features from like we released one track and it has devendra banhart on it so it's got all these like indie amazing indie musicians and stuff and that should start to roll out maybe even the end of this month and go for about a year. So I spent the last two years traveling around with Mickey Blanco producing their next like two albums. Really? Yeah. And then basically I made a faulty DL album in 2017. Mm -hmm. I had my next one and I was like, oh, I don't want to release it yet. And I got in touch with Mickey and I sent it to Mickey and Mickey was like, I want this, 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 this. Oh we had never met before. And then Mickey came to New York and we've spent like, months together in studios in new york in lisbon la chicago uh, all living, over the place in the right. it was cool yeah it's 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 been a new thing for me like and like mickey's so great because i meet all these amazing people through mickey and it's just opened my eyes to because i never worked with anyone like this before so now i think collaboration is really the way forward and then off the back of that i've made my next album which is all singing and yeah. like rock stuff um but like I, you know, that isn't signed yet. I want to wait for the Mickey stuff to come out. I will sign it if you want. Yeah. <laughs> well, I sent you one of the tracks. We should listen to it, and it's one of the more dance floor of the. I mean, most of the tracks are literally like, imagine me in a cowboy hat and like a straw out of my mouth, and I'm playing guitar. Like it's like really country. I want to be there. I don't want to imagine it. I I, I want to be there. I want to be part yeah. of it. I want to be on the horse yeah i've been on the horse before and i want to get back on the horse and uh you but the one i sent you a one hitter <laughs> what's that you were never off i've never gotten off the horse no. um but so yeah like i don't consider myself in the dance world anymore and so you know like like a record like this like i would sign this 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 producer in mm. like in maybe a year if i get something else that's even more polished and out there because right now it's a little too like kind of just yeah. like perfect like things come in and out if it had a little more of like a personality to it i would totally sign it less uh, dance floor uh, element to it less than yeah or or show me something that i don't expect in it you know what i mean don't just yeah. give me all the tropes of hardcore you know what i mean like listen to like i think benton is a young producer who's been making hardcore music for the last yeah. couple of years that does a really good job of that it's like someone i would listen to you heard it. You heard it first. You heard it here first. Let's see it. Bam. Good One hitter. Good picture. Nice loud file. Look at that. Bits in space. Boom. Yeah, that is a that is an old bits in space. Uh, I loved him. Unmixed. Unmastered. it like this.
six minute club version of it too. <laughs> Thank you everybody. That, that's been a great show and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna retire because uh, Uh, I just want a record deal. Very, so I get off I don't, I'm not going to judge it or something. First of all, I love that it's great. It's super punky and everything that I'm missing in music and the fucking uh, Nile Rogers guitars vibe, you know, fashion wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. No, judge it though. What else? What about? No, like, what, no what you... nothing. It's, I don't like comparison also. I don't like, I don't compare it anytime. It's just, I just have a feeling. I just, I see music, you know what I mean? Not in, yeah. not in the, I just feel it, you know? I just, I can feel the energy of it. And it's so, and it's, it felt like you're saying like, fuck this shit already. And fuck yeah. what happened in the past already. And fuck it. I have more yeah. to offer. And I want to. Yeah, and also it. like, you the know, there's, there's kind of a clear, like early LCD sound system DFA sort of vibe too in the song that I was thinking about, but I kind of wanted, I was thinking like, what would they sound like if they didn't give a fuck? You yeah. know what I mean? If they weren't like, so, cause James Murphy is such a great engineer. Yeah. Like right. whether you like LCD or not, the music is so well produced and engineered, but what if it was just a little more punk and slammed, you know? I think LCD sound system is the only band that I'm a fan of, you know, in this mm. day, this kind of, I want to go to shows and I want to, cause I like the, I like the show. I like the, I like the amount of attention to details that James has, which is crazy, you yeah. know, especially especially if you see what you can do today with a computer in a live show, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know like, fuck, this, the sure. whole new system and whatever. Wow. I but know. so, you know, so I got an album of like, but that's like, there's like one or two that have the energy like that. And then there's other things that are much more slow and chill, kind of Fleetwood Mackie, but it's a whole vocal album with a bunch of like, uh, I got a bunch of old musicians to help me out. Like this guy, Brad Laner, who was the guitarist in a shoegaze band called Medicine in mm -hmm. like the eighties and nineties. I got uh, Paul Banks, the singer from Interpol was on a track. Um, and a couple other like little people here and there that like were kind of big in the rock scene in the 80s and 90s. As we speak, my people are sending you the contract to go over. To I would love, I mean, I want a record deal so bad so I can just like stop freaking out about it. But uh, and we are, uh, we are, I don't know if I told you, but we're distributed by uh, Warner Music and uh, we're good. You know? Oh, yeah. So send uh, it, send it over. So, James, if you're listening, or Reese. Send James a mail now to send him a send him a contract. Simple, fifty fifty, five years. We're good. That's <laughs> five it. years. That's 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 small. Why? Well, I don't need more. That's good. That's honest, man. That's true. Because I, you know, I always sign these ten, and fifteen. I, years. I rather have in two years another thing that you're gonna do, or in one year for another and another, and keep you there. You know, keep it coming. Yeah. Why do yeah. I need you? Why do I need to make you feel bad about the about the years? Okay, I got a question for you though for your ANR hat. Yes. Okay, you know, uh, I've had a career as Faulty DL. I've done all these things. I've done, you know, for about 12, 15 years. If my next album is like so different from this stuff, do you think labels would like me to approach them different with a new, a, a new alias? Yes, a whole new idea. Not hiding it. I'd be like produced by Drew Lustman or produced by Faulty DL, but like new name? Or is it a faulty DL album? I don't know. I think it's a question that you ask yourself better because <clears throat> I always wanted to to change my name, and then I was like, "But I'm still gonna be Moscow." You know, that's how yeah. people know me. And yeah. I could be a different Moscow today. I'm older. I've made different stuff. I stand behind what I did in the past. I'm standing behind what I'm doing now. You're still yeah. gonna be faulty. You know? Yeah. That's I mean, I, I think I think about this stuff all the time, maybe too much. But I had an A and R from a big label that's a friend of mine, like one of the biggest indie labels. I'm not going to say yeah. who they are, yeah. but I was just talking to them on the phone. No, I'm joking. What's that? No, <laughs> big, bigger, bigger than that label. And I was talking to them, and they were saying, you know, you should think about a new alias because people don't want to. People want to break new things. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, you're good. 
so you don't need to hide behind the new name. I, don't know, man. I have, dude, I have irrational fears that people will forget about me, that like people don't remember anything I've ever done. It's called the Bach syndrome or the Mozart syndrome or something like that. Oh, t- tell <laughs> me about it. I don't know. There's a syndrome like that. I think Bach or. Like I sit at home and I think, oh, I got to put up a photo on Instagram so people don't forget about me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think, uh, I mean, you should do like a crazy photo, then people won't forget about you. But uh, (laughs) I don't know, man. It's not like you've done pop and you're like, oh, I got to have a new name for this kind of, it's still part of your equation, you know? Yeah, people want to do new stuff and I want new names. But if you'd say, man, I can release a faulty DL album now, that's great, you know? Yeah. It's not like there's no bad juju on your... um, on your name it's, it's just well, you. well that's the thing i think that there is sometimes it's just you i also but do you think, ever, you think, think that too yeah i feel yeah, like i always it. ask my, tell my girlfriend she can say on five times a day i'm like i gotta change my name moscow is a dead name it's over it's over for moscow man i can't even yeah, why, why do we think that we've uh, it's obviously not you've toured around the world i've we've yeah. both toured around the world on these names why do we think they're dead and <clears throat> sorry I don't think we even started even enjoying our name yet. You know? I like that. I like that so much. Because we're so afraid of exploding, we want to change already. We're so Yeah, that might be part of it too. We're so afraid of succeeding under these conditions, these conditions that we want to do it. So we want to change already. We want to kick the bucket, as you say, in the horsey in the horse. Did we just become friends? Yes, hundred percent. Friends and uh, we just became friends. Yeah, let's do open a label. Let's do a label. Let's do a Twitch show. I mean, another, Dude, yeah, yeah. Another let's, let's just play video games together. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Warzone. Yeah. Warzone. You want to hear some more music? I want to hear some new music. I do. I absolutely do. I'm afraid. I think I have anything, anything wouldn't come close. I have probably another twenty minutes or so, and then I have to call my dad. That's good. Keep in touch. Yeah, important. I gotta call. I gotta call. He's in. He's in in New York also. No, he's uh, just about an hour outside of the city, not too far. Okay, that's good. Yeah, not not in Florida. But I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him, and you know. But you can see him. I mean, especially if you don't see anybody. Yeah, but I mean, he's kind of like. Also, it's like ah, call he's me. a he's at risk. He's a you know he's like he's an old guy. He's you're at risk. Turned, turned seventy five in a couple of days. I am you're, at risk. You're at risk. I am the I am the risk. Yeah, wear a mask. It'll be good. Yeah, of course. Of course. Meet outside. It's freezing. Take him to Florida. Whoa. Yes. And now, everybody, close your eyes. Imagine only good things. Yes. Smile, but don't smile from the outside. Smile from the inside. I'm going to eat some bread while we're doing this. Go for it. My girlfriend, my girlfriend asked me if we can hang out with you in New York. Oh my god, I would love it. Yes, we're gonna drink a lot and we're gonna get some bagels. Uh, you wanted to talk about bagels? By the way, are you a bagel guy? Yeah, sure. Fuck yeah, I had two on Sunday. Are you part of the clan? By the way, I never, I didn't ask. Yeah. The the big J clan, the J clue. I mean, when I asked you. Before, do you think, what do you think, guilt. when I was like, I don't meet a lot of people in the tribe, did you think I, I meant I wasn't or I was? You, you were, we were talking about another tribe. Oh. Because we were talking Look, about one and all the bullshit frogs and bullshit. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. Tribe. We're not a shamanic tribe. No, but I'm, no. I'm a big, I'm a big Jew, if that's what you're asking. Big Jew, okay. Uh, Proud Jew. Jewish people make the best music. <laughs> you know? Yo, yeah, it's true. They make good like, music, especially I classic like, music, jazz. I mean, nobody knows, but all the biggest jazz things were written by Jews. Mm. You know, what, like Leonard Bernstein. What do you mean? No, literally stuff that you like alone together. This kind of like jazz standards. Most of the jazz standards were, were written by Jewish people. Right. right, right. Yeah. Uh, so, what what is your bagel? If we're talking about a bagel. My my bagel is the cinnamon raisin bagel. No, like at the bagel place. What's your bagel place? Oh. <laughs> it's not what. Um, you... 
Well, I, I recently moved. I'm in I'm in Bed Stuy right now, so I got a new spot, hmm. and I think it's called Magels Bagels, just with an M. Um, yeah, <laughs> Schlegels Bagels. Schlegels, and then there's also like, what's the big one? Uh, Ross and Daughters. Of course, yeah. There's the high end ones, but there's another one that's like that's that's moved around downtown Brooklyn before. It's got a few. It's in a new Frankel. location. Frankel's is great. I, I've never gotten a bagel there, but I've gotten like a uh, acme fish, a pastrami, pastrami on rye, or some white fish. Yeah, for sure. You know what I love? Barney and Green. I didn't. I didn't have a Barney Greengrass. Come on, I got a Barney Greengrass T-shirt. The Sturgeon King. The Sturgeon Virgin. If it's your first time in there, that's what he said to me. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, "This is my first time here." He was like, "Oh, a Sturgeon Virgin." <laughs> I love the guy. I love all of them there. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope they'll survive this shit. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they'll, they'll do fine. We've been through There's... wars. We've been. They've been through the Holocaust and shit. You know what's a virus? Absolutely. You know? So I used to live in South Williamsburg, right on the the edge of the uh, the giant community there, and that was always a trip. I used to go into people's houses and turn on their lights and shit. So you were like a Shabbat goy for people. As a Jewish person, just walk around. Yeah. Did you say a Shabbat <laughs> goy or a Shabbat guy? Yeah, more like a Gentile, like we say goy, like Gentile. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shabbat goy. I guess yeah. I am, but I think, but that's the thing is when I walk around and like. Uh, Hasidic Jews are trying to get people to make a mitzvah yeah. and do all these things. They always ask me if I want to do it. And I'm like, how could you? I was like, how could you tell that I'm Jewish? And they're like, we just, we just know. They do know. Also, you yeah. have, uh, you're ginger. Yeah. Well, there's some, there's some Hasidic gingers. Yeah, but it's either this or you're Scottish or something like that. So Irish, yeah, yeah, yeah. Irish. So either way. I'm Rus Russian, Polish, Lithuanian Jew. Yeah. Lithuanians are very... Uh, light skinned also mm -hmm. we're romanians in the house but i don't know what it means we're more i think we came from morocco at some point so but like are, the, do you have a little bit of so like, are you a little sephardic when there was the how do you call it i want to say extradition but that's not the world the spanish inquisition inquisition. inquisition inquisition was the inquisition that they just send all the jews away from spain so you're sephardic i think originally five six hundred years ago yeah and now but you're ashkenazi, now I'm ashkenazi yeah. Yeah. Well, but i need to probably. Uh, okay but i love meeting other jews and dance music because i just feel like you totally get me right away yeah jews are great i love jews yeah i love non-jews too i love everyone yeah I have nothing bad. There, there is some very good non-Jews. Yeah, there's a few. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's not turn to that. I don't. Know. Alien Echo. Ah, oh, you were waiting for us to play your track. Here it is. <laughs> she had to listen to us talk about this Jewish bullshit. All right. All right. <laughs> Chicana is going to come back. Chicane is going to come. Old trancy, trancy act. 
Gotcha. I've been listening to a lot of Sinead O'Connor. She's good, even though she tried to kill herself. Yeah, no, she's incredible. They couldn't find her. You remember that tweet? Or that Facebook post? Yeah. I'm gonna off I my know what happened to her. <laughs> Go for, come find me. She had a... Um, she had a surgery done. She had a big surgery. She had a big surgery and it forced her body to go into early menopause. Yeah. So she had this crazy rush of different and depletion of, you know, all of her hormones and it made her suicidal. I don't doubt it. I can, um, I can understand it. I mean, but like if you look at her old video for I want you to put your hands on me from her first album where she's in that jean jacket with a shaved head and it's like the coolest vibe of any yeah. video I've ever seen and MC Light is on the track yeah and I'm sure nobody knows here that nothing compares is a Prince song it is a total Prince song she also yeah. said that Prince beat the shit out of her um I can see it I can see it yeah I could totally yeah, see Minnesota. that too. you know it's not like for, it's from Minnesota yeah <laughs> Um, I like this track. It's nice. I, mean, it's, uh... I just hope that nothing bad is coming back and then it's a really good track. Yeah. I would hear more stuff. stuff i don't like the sample pack uh, vocals sorry to say it if it's a sample pack if not but i like the whole emotive transcending moment in the do you know dave p by the way yeah for sure you know he's supposed to be on the show tomorrow but he's not oh. answering his phone but that's a normal thing uh, <laughs> it's gonna be touch and go tomorrow i could i can tell that this if i had to guess i would say the producer of this track has like music theory Yeah. like like has studied music in their life maybe like as a, from a child or something yeah like, echo, i mean as a nice name also and i really like the artwork yeah it's so beautiful can, can you see it wait i did before yeah it's really i mean nice. i think like this type of sort of cinematic stuff this like is really totally cool. is this original yeah, that, can i steal I it is this original <laughs> music from deep space And also, uh, I like that when he wrote version eight might be the final. Hey, can everybody in the chat go follow me on Instagram and make yes. me feel better about myself? Go follow. Seriously, uh, just follow Faulty DL. Just make me feel better. Faulty DL. I'm just going to write it. And if you had a Twitch channel, you, sh you would have a lot of new followers now. Yeah. Now, I'm going to follow you too. But listen, no pressure to follow me back. In fact, don't right away. I will follow you. If you no, say that I, you do stuff on your page, I will follow you. I don't do much. I'm so, I'm so What's like, the I'm one dream you have now to do? What's the one dream you would dream about doing now? Um, <laughs> well, start a family is like the next thing. That's not a dream. That's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have, do you have kids? No. Um, We just had a big uh, argument about it. I'm like... I'm so ready for it, man. Something changed in me in the last couple of years. I'm so fucking ready. I will have three kids tomorrow and devote all my time money? to it. You got a big bag? You got some big bag of money? Some nice I did okay. I mean, no, I would. So I would sell my apartment in New York and I'd go live. My girlfriend's from Spain, the countryside. We'd go live in the middle of nowhere and have money and I could be an artist and raise kids and it'd be totally cool. Sounds like a dream, but you know you won't do it. <laughs> Not maybe in like a year. You're going to go to clubs and you're going to be, you know. Do you like I don't know, man. I, I kind of stopped going to clubs around 2015 after oh, I had my I, I, work. I had it well for work, yeah, for sure. But like, I don't feel comfortable in clubs. Something happened to me. I got to figure it out. I need to have a long like. Were you molested, molested? Maybe. No, I mean by myself. <laughs> I like did it to myself. You know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's hear some more stuff. What is <laughs> yeah, before we get depressing. Yeah, no.
נגילה רדיג נוטד וואט הרולד על שוק very early stages of creation mix wise and everything got a charge on that so now I'm listening only in the left channel FYI. I'm sorry but this track is very very early stage and uh, it's very hard for me to say stuff about it but uh keep keep working that's I mean and thanks for sending demos and opening up yourself because it's not easy so I appreciate oh, let me hear let me hear 10 seconds and I'll find something positive to say about it okay stop the time. little the, the sine wave uh, yeah. lead line reminds yeah. me of like old Mike Paradinas like uh, like 90s bleep like portamento things I think that's really nice I like that you heard it here let's keep on going No war zone today. A book and go to sleep. <laughs> It's getting late, you know, I can't, I can't. I'm too, I'm too old to have adrenaline before I go to sleep. How old are you now? 38. We're the same age, man. I'm a year older. You can't. I turned 38 in four months, in May. Okay, so basically 82, but... Yeah. I'm gonna ask people don't send me anything with white noises anymore unless it's only white nose and noise and drones and stuff like this we heard the track from you today it, yeah. so let's give other people some uh, so what did we learn today that we have a lot of music and uh, there is a one track that we really liked maybe this will be the next one I like the picture. This is dope. Wait, it gets worse. It always gets worse. <laughs> That's life. Oh, this is good. This is unique. This is cool. releases on RNS yeah this person doesn't need help they're doing fine yeah cool a little flat for me but it's cool what else he has here? I like the bass the kick drum is doing like a cool little thing Nice stuff. Yeah. I'm 
sure he came here because of you, not because of him. I love this sound. I don't know where, how do you make this sound? This bump, bump, bump. I love this. It's ravey sound. Yeah. The mix down is also good. Sounds like a million bucks. Yeah, you're gonna go Better far, kid. In the 90s. You're gonna go far. Yeah. Are you gonna write a book? You feel like in your life you're gonna write a book? I'd like to. Like a, but I feel uh, like I, and I then it all fell apart, like Moby kind of vibe. Somebody stuck well, a dick in my a thick in my mouth, and then <laughs> the first, the first, the first, someone stuck a dick in my mouth once, and I liked it. So that ain't gonna be what I'm gonna say. The, you can you can finish the book with that, you know, like inspire. Yeah, <laughs> someone, and someone <laughs> put a dick in my mouth, and I liked it. Yeah, inspire other people, you know. Um, I like Moby's the first book. The second one, the second installment, I didn't like as much because he was going around. He started, it was less chronological. I don't like the jumping around in time. I like the first one. Do you like him or do you hate him? I not a I'm personal super, thing. The Moby. Persona. I was not a I was not a fan when I was growing up at all. No, you didn't like you didn't like. No, I, I didn't. I liked that song that was uh, in that movie, The Beach. Which one was it? Like the big one, on play. Yeah, na, 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 na. Southside. I don't remember, the name of it, but it was a really big tune. Um, okay. But I'm super into like pop stars, especially in dance Fourth music. Time. I'm just oh. super curious about them. Yeah. In my dreams, I'm dying. Okay, yeah. This dying one. all the time. Yeah. Uh, the Casey Michael. You're sure it was Moby? There's a lot of people that are bold and has glasses, but they're not Moby. Yeah. They look like Moby, but they're not. Did they have a big vegan for life kind of tattoo? But I used to go to Moby's uh, tea tea shop in, in East Village. Oh man! Okay. You know what's the the best thing I know I like about him that is smart, and all the samples were clear. Yeah, that's the only thing I can. The only good thing I can say. I mean, I really like the music also. I um, mean, the Twin Peaks sample. And uh, whatever that fucking track is, you know, the strings from the Twin Peaks song. Mm -hmm. Go. So go. Yeah, go. But it's like the Woodland mix or something. Or? Mm -hmm. yeah. I love Go. Go. Okay, let's go. A couple more tracks. Then you got to go. Yeah. Yeah, I want to eat also. This is my work in progress. It's a work in progress. It's great. It's a demo. That's why we're here. Dr. Disrespect. Hey, wait. Dr. Disrespect is, a, is the best gamer in the world. Don't say his name in vain. That's the Mexican sound, by the way. Okay. That you were looking for. And the same gated snare. 80s drums. You know, there's a lot of kidnaps and uh, kidnapping in Mexico. I'm pretty sure. Oh, so wait, hold up. I was there. I was okay. So remember when Delorean got kidnapped? Festival? Yes, I was at that festival. I oh. was listen. I went. I left my room at midnight. I was sitting downstairs, and I was waiting for my taxi to come to take me to the venue. And I looked at my maps. I saw it was five blocks away. I said, "Fuck it, I'm walking." So I walked to the venue. Delorean came down right after me. And they got in the taxi. The wrong taxi. And they got and they got kidnapped. It wasn't the cash cab, you say. It was no, it was but it could have been me. Cash cab. So what? It was like a fake taxi? How how did it go? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, they got kidnapped, but they were really sloppy. And then the cool thing is the DeLorean, they're all Basque, right? So they yeah. just started talking to each other in Basque, a language that fucking no one else understands. Yeah. And uh, they were just communicating and they figured it out. It was, that's terrifying. How much was it? Like 250000 Yeah, but I don't think they even probably got the money. In the end. You know that today they kidnap you without being kidnapped in Mexico. They're just like doing like a, like a kind of a scam. They just call your mother and it's like, we kidnapped her. Yeah. Or we kill him. And then she's like calling him. No, no, I'm good. Oh, okay. 
Fuck you. But you know what? What's funny is my mom would call me and I would not answer because I don't often answer when she calls and she'd be like, it's true. They kidnapped you. Wow, Do you ever not answer the phone when your mom calls and feel really guilty? <clears throat> all the time. Yeah, all the time. That's why I like about being in the US. I hope she's not watching, but uh, I'm sure she is. But I like to be in the US because there is a time difference. And there is time that when they're asleep, I'm free. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I like I it during the day. So yeah. especially when I'm in LA, you know, I, I remember not only her, a lot of people that, I, that are in this side, I'm like, oh, it's 3 p.m. It's my time now. They're all asleep. Yeah, I love that. I totally know what you mean. Smart. Uh, Mexican sound. Dr. Disrespect. <laughs>good but it's very flat for now it, it does need some more work yeah i had a joke about the kidnapping i was just want to say that i i think they kidnapped phil collins and he's stuck there that's what i wanted to say that was the whole joke because everybody uses his snare that's it <laughs> a bad joke now it's a bad joke i'm sorry i take it back he's kidnapped in mexico and they're using his snare yeah, he's <laughs> stuck there <laughs> and that's yeah. it yeah, sorry. Bad joke. Yeah, think about Genesis, though, in their heyday. Just him and uh, Peter Gabriel. It's insane. It's insane. The best. Take me home. In general, take me home. I like I like the fact that now I am the worst in drum programming, basically, I think. I mean, I can drum program, but not recreate something. So now with yeah. YouTube, I'm recreating stuff all the time. And I did take me home, and I was I had so much fun. It's a 909, right? A 909 and a 797, I think, also together. Okay, yeah. But it's those toms. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Please give me another good track. There is a lot of more tracks, but I'm here another three three days this week, so fuck, fuck it. Fuck it. Well, Where's listen, I'll, I'll do one more with you, but can we do a part two? Yes. Can we do this again, like, literally whenever you want? Yes. Do you want to do it with somebody also, with another person? Sure. Is there anybody in your in your mind that you want to do it with? You want me to give you a list of names that are going to get booked and you, you want to join them? If that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. In February? So I'll give sure. it. Sure. Do you know... Sure. Uh, okay. I'll, uh, I'll make it work. Okay. okay. Don't worry. You want to do it with Scooter? I don't know Scooter. That's because you're American. It's a very European thing. Can we search for the special one before you go? The one special sure. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is good stuff. And uh, everybody that's sending music that I'm not listening, you know, send again. Feel free. Who is this person that's been uh, very active on the chat? The WWW waves is hiding stuff or she. with the phone you're chatting and you send now music yeah no 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 this I is was just checking I just got 
I got six Instagram followers from from you telling people to do that. That's how we roll. <laughs> That's what I was checking. <laughs> Are you sure that you didn't make this music? You think I would make this? I wouldn't be surprised. Well, because it's like swung. Because it's good. That's why. Tempting. You know what I used to do when I was making my early sort of swung tracks is I wouldn't use shuffle, I would use 16th note triplet. I would quantize everything 16th much, note triplet. It, what's, the, what's the summary of 16 note triplets? Like 16? It's, uh, well, triplets are like basically like three beats in the space of two normal three it's hard two. to explain so yeah three over two yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. but the problem is is it made it very one difficult one to mix the tracks in something like that you can't it's hard to mix that in with something that's four four yeah i wish i knew it was this person playing a game on us. I know it. Or she. interested in something like this but you should send you know i could see this working on like unknown to the unknown or something yeah here are a couple more of this Oof. You know, you know, a producer named TRP. Mm -hmm. This it reminds me of TRP, that like distorted 808. This is really good. Somebody, yeah. somebody's fucking with me. I mean, I don't think they're fucking with you. I just think it's good music. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, they're hiding their real identity. That's what I mean, fucking with it. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That's just not a, like a me this thing. Isn't like, yeah, it's yeah. a very me thing to to think. Like, yeah, but I mean, look, I think this is really well produced. I don't think it's reinventing music. It's not no. like this is Aphex Twin or none of this, but I mean, it's, uh, no, it's good. Let me hear this one. It's way more groovy than Aphex Twin. It has way more disco in it. More black, call it like that. Is this person in the chat? Yeah. W okay, have them, have them come on. Have them chat with us. They want to chat with us. I don't know. You want to show your face? W show your face, waves. Or don't uh, don't hide. Come on, come on, uh, come on the chat. This person, www.waves88. Show your face or not? Yeah, chat with us, or just you know, you can. You don't have to use the face. You could just use the audio. Yeah. No, it's okay. He's here. Who are you? Where are you from? Tell us some stuff. He's from Brest, from Brussels, A B from brussels yeah i don't know something is weird but it's a good music good stuff. <laughs> i love how you're 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 like you're like a detective all of a sudden i don't know why but i i grew up that uh with the great saying of the fact that you're paranoid doesn't mean that nobody's nobody's after you yeah, yeah, yeah i get that <laughs> you know yeah, yeah yeah i would like That's to hear more from this person though for sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Says that I know him, but it doesn't want to. Somebody says. Oh, he says that you know him. Yeah, somebody. Oh, somebody on, says it's your dad. <laughs> it's my dad, or because I gotta call him. 
You got to call him. Okay, Waves, I'm here. Great. Waves, hop on the chat with us. Talk to us for a bit. You don't have to use your camera if you don't want, but but talk to us. He says I know him, but from Brussels. What do I know from Brussels? I, I know a few people from Brussels. Oh, sorry. Uh, W11220Y, yes, we're doing feedback, but uh, come on Wednesday or Friday because we're almost gone because yeah. uh, we got life also. I mean, some kind of life. Uh, do you guys want to come to Miami to chill in the sun? <laughs> Maybe to catch COVID? A small yeah. chance of COVID? What do you think about that? Were you sick all this time? Me? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I, I haven't got it. You haven't been out. You uh, I mean, I've gone out a little bit of the house, but no, I, I haven't gotten sick. I haven't gotten it. I don't think. Do you find it odd that I don't you, have it? You take it personally? Um, no, I mean, I'm glad I didn't lose my sense of taste or smell. That's the only thing I worry about. It. And like, yeah, that might not come back. No, it comes back. Some people don't have it still. Smell, it's all right, but taste. <laughs> yeah, well, they go together. Not not evenly it's not like 100 percent. did you get covid no yeah oddly enough i mean i'm not the person to be out but i was in miami when it went down i was in new york i was out i was doing yeah. stuff i was here in berlin we went to a restaurant it was amazing life was so nice and mm. then it came yeah the big covid no, I want to know your name because we're going. We're waiting only for you, WWE. No, they say, yeah, it says, want to see me. Yes, hop in or you not. You want to see him? I want to see you. You want to see him? I can let's bring you Let's talk about your tracks. Yeah, okay, let's do it. If you have time for that. And yeah, I'm I do. Gonna, I'm going to make... But, I'm, gonna but I'm mostly doing this because I want to alleviate your own paranoia. No, I'm not paranoid. I'm just right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? I'm trying to think who I know in Brussels, though. I've been to AB Club in Brussels. Is that is that Antwerp or, or Brussels? AB Club. Brussels Sprouts. What's the connection? You're playing space. Tomer, I'm not playing anywhere. Man, there is a pandemic going on. He says, yeah. He says Great. it's Van Damme. It's JVC. Ah, JCVD. Yes. <laughs> JVC, that's the... <laughs> You made a check about it. I sent you a link on the Whisper. You want to come online or are we going to go? I'm going to come to... I'm not going to come. Yeah. I made a track about it. About what? Van Damme? Who, who, who is this person? Why is he not showing his face? Okay, let's hear something. Yeah, let's hear While he decides. This guy I like. No, I'm not going to Tulum. <laughs> it's not Twitch. I sent you a link. You just press on it and then you can join us. All good. We're here. We're happy. This is nice tiki. I could see it as a cover to Kokomo Beach. It's got a real Tim oh. Lovely. You know Tim Lovely? Yeah. You hear this, but I hear Bossa Nova, like this kind of Bossa Nova.
feels like it. Bro, you killed it. Amazing. That nice. Yeah, that was really nice. Yeah, I'm happy. Refreshing. To that. <clears throat> I'm, I'm so happy. listen, everybody I'm follow happy. me on Instagram. And oh, we'll, What's we're all going to be okay. Just faulty DL. That's it. That's it. You killed it. Picos. Um, you killed it. Yeah, that was good. You're the best. the best of the day, for me at least. Nice. Uh, man. It was so much fun and thank you so much and uh, it was i was dread dreading this because i was like oh i don't know this guy personally yeah. yet yeah but and uh when it connects it connects it's god who doesn't believe in god now? hey <laughs> the is up there is he's watching us all the tribe is watching us. lovely hashem, hashem is uh, here. yeah yeah and, uh, no, no, I hear our mitzvah <laughs> <laughs> no, this yeah Americans don't even know like five things and the chupa. That's it. That's all we know. Um, yeah. I'm becoming more religious the older I get. I'm I'm also like that. You do Yom Kippur? Yeah. That's good. But no phones and no electricity, no nothing. You do like Well, I, I didn't go that hardcore. Yeah, I did. We were, we were using true. Zoom to talk to people. <laughs> Still, it was nice not to do anything because we we're only doing this. All the yeah, that's awesome. No, that is nice. So follow a uh, faulty DL. Yeah. One word. And make wherever. me feel better about myself. Because yeah. I think Instagram is gaslighting me. Like I'll get like a certain amount of followers and then I start Money. losing a bunch. That's what I'm saying. Do a Twitch. They will support you. Do a Twitch. They will support you. People will yeah, follow you. Twitch, you can just go online when you're cooking something or when you're, I don't know fighting with your partner or when you're in the studio or something interesting like no don't do this this is mine but yeah. uh no i'm joking whoever wants to do it is uh can have uh can have his can have his but, no, no. but that's true i'm like a little nervous about putting too much of myself out there you know what i mean what's the difference i don't know i mean imagine if mick jagger had twitch you think he wouldn't he would use the fuck out of it back yeah. in the days you know, it would be there all day. I'm like, this. <laughs> we're going camera. <laughs> Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Mick Jagger. Welcome to my show. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, do it. I mean, I support this. If I'm doing it, nobody's. Uh, I mean, I'm not a cool person, so I don't no, care. No, I think yeah, I think you're 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 doing you're doing something right, man. It's great. Yeah, I'm just having fun. That's, That's all. Awesome. I'm I'm real. Keep it real. And but listen, I, I want to do this again soon. Yeah, we can do it in person. I might be going to Miami. We can do it in person if you want. So, but well, would you true. come stop in New York? No, it's too cold. Why would yeah. I go to some place that is as cold as here? I want to be in the sun. Look at me. Look how white I am. I know, man. Me too. No, no, <laughs> yeah. no. And I want some fresh fish. You know what blew me away with with Tel Aviv was how much I it felt like Miami. <laughs> Sadly, yeah. Also, it looks like Miami now. The well, that's what I mean. The buildings on the on the beach with the yeah. palm trees. I was like, this looks like Miami. Yeah, a very condensed Miami. Yeah, like, uh, but better music. Yeah. Shout out to all my Miami friends, but you don't know how to make music yet. Not like Tel Aviv. <laughs> not like Tel Aviv. Right. Sorry, in our world, no, I'm not talking about Latin or stuff. Which there, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, For I'm sure. talking about electronic music. There's no yeah. scene yet, but it's building. It's building. People are so open there. That's the one thing I can say about Miami is people are super open for music there. What about Miami bass and like electro and stuff like that? Yeah, of course. But that's old news. It's not that's new. True. It's I'm not talking new. about the future. 
You know Danny Days? I know Danny Days. Danny Days is amazing. Yeah, but he's more good. related to Europe. And then I think he's more related in Europe than the US, you know? And the yeah, state, scene, you know? It's, you know, anyway. Hold on, what did we do? I'm going to go to my Facebook and see that. What did we do, three hours? Yeah, let's see. Something like that. I think uh, everybody, let's raid the, uh, let, you, you can raid other, other channels here. I see a nice, let's see. Anybody has a channel we want to raid? Let's raid somebody and make somebody's day. And bring what is it. a raid? A raid is when you take your crowd and you take it to another music music channel or whatever channel. And people can just, you know, it's like, hey, thanks for coming with like 30 people. You know, we just, it's like, imagine you take all your friends to another bar. That's, That's cool. Right. Yeah, it's a nice community, the Twitch. It's like the Wild Wild West here. You can do whatever you want. Nobody's I watching. Like it. I mean, I guess. But I don't... <laughs> I don't see anything. I don't see anything interesting. Club chorizo, tacos, tumbras Tuesday. No. Well, listen, I, I I'm gonna go because I got I gotta make this phone call. But um, yeah. so send, send me a, a list of people to or whatever, or we do it again, just you and me, like whatever, man. I I, I would do this. Yeah. Whatever. I want to be a regular character. I'd like to do this five times a year. Okay, you got it. Six let's, times a year. Let's get a keep up. Ten times a year. Whenever you want. Let's do once a month. I'm down. Seriously, I'll guest in and once a month. Drop-ins. Yeah. What do you say about that? Like whenever I, you're I'm watching, super into it. But you gotta have a Twitch account. Whenever you're watching, you just text. I want to get on. I want to get. I want to say some stuff. All right. Fuck it. Yeah. I'll start a Twitch. Yeah. Why not? What's the worst thing that will happen? People will know no. you. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Change your no, name. No. Nothing. I just don't know. I just like. I want to have it. I just want to be already like with the green screen. I'm right here and I'm playing video games and you see the game. I want it to be really easy. Yeah. Let's do it. I have yeah. a killer idea. I will tell it to you in person. You have a WhatsApp? Okay. I'll send you my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll send you mine right now. Just add it. One, two, five, one. No, don't say it loud. So I'm <laughs> doing the private message. Okay. Oh, I got yours right there. Too. Okay. Perfect. I'll send you one right now. Anyway, thanks again. Thanks, Drew. Thanks for everybody. And let's raid. Give me give me something. Justin Martin music is pretty great. Let's see how it is. Stay here while we're well then give me a second just to just to raid. Don't go yet. Yeah, I love this way Martin is playing live. What is he playing? Good shit. Let's raid this shit. Justin Martin music. Boom. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, man. I'm so slow. I'm too old. Like, um... I do. I start to understand why everything is so big for old people, like big phones and big stuff like that. Because your fingers, yeah. your fingers don't work anymore. Is it? <laughs> yeah. It's like it's hard yeah. to do it. Your fingers don't work. It's funny. Raid. Raid. <sighs> Wait, I'm going to raid it. Are we going to see you? No, we. I'm. I'm. I just want to say goodbye to you in person before. Uh, Are we gonna see you? Before we go, so just wait just a second because uh, I can do both. Sure. Music. Okay. Ready? I'm doing it. Raid. Boom! You have a raid in progress, and we're now watching Justin Martin music. All right.